New York City, 6 a.m. An out-of-control satellite radio show is being broadcasted to millions of Americans. At the controls, Greg Hughes, a father. I am amazed it lasted this long. Anthony Cumia, an alcoholic. Holy mother of God. And Jim Norton, a comedian. There's no positives out of this thing, except for everybody's blood. The three men make up the Opie and Anthony Show, a popular radio program known for its cringe style of entertainment and having very few limits. Oh, my God. Okay, no, this is getting really intense now. It starts funny and then gets very uncomfortable. In the past, they have been accused of multiple FCC violations and have even gotten their show suspended from satellite radio. You couldn't have picked a fucking more self-destructive show. Yeah, the crazier the better, yeah, yeah. What, are you, 19? I'm 19. Delicious. You made Springer uncomfortable. Do you know how hard that is to do? Thank God this show's on radio. <laughs> Everything you are about to hear is real. Real people, real excitement. Hey, let's go fuck have a good time. What the fuck? Get ready to experience the thrill of a lifetime. This is the Opie and Anthony Show. Just sit back and enjoy the show. But enough of this palaver. Let's get the show on the road. Ah, uh, good morning. Uh, Welcome good morning. to the Whatever. Opie and Anthony Show. Whatever. What's wrong? Ah, God. Well, it's been, it's been raining here like all night. And uh, driving in this morning... The roads are so flooded. It's crazy. It's like the whole, like, like almost half of the left lane yeah. uh, had, like, water on it. And, uh, you know, people hydroplaning and stuff. It was, uh, like, really flooded. It was a tough ride in today. Wow. Thought, Unbelievable. It was a tough night of sleeping because uh, with this really heavy rain and the wind oh, just God. whistling through my apartment. And, you know, I live way up in the clouds. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't get to sleep because of that whistling, like the whistling noise. Also, that goddamn uh, my pool cover. Yeah, I have never seen so much water in one place. I've had to pump it off. Now I'm pumping it out, and uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I it, it's it's uh, is it ruined? Uh, it's just gonna. I'm gonna have to keep these pumps running a while because we are flood flooded. I've never seen anything so bad. Yeah, the flooding's pretty crazy. The walk to the car today. I fucking lost an umbrella. Really windy, so now I'm soaked. Do we get our Academy Awards now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Godzilla! Anyone talking about uh, the the well, rain in our area should just be fucking drowned. <laughs> fuck that. Let me read you something. First of all, Twitter's shutting down. Really? If you're just waking up, Turn on your TV and us at the same time. That's because uh, we can't compete with an 8.9 earthquake. We might as well all go home. And tsunami. What the fuck are we going to add to this? A tsunami. The tsunami. But the, the footage is absolutely unbelievable. But uh, Crazy. I knew something was up. I'm, I'm trying to find this one tweet. But I knew something was up. When I can't sleep at night, I start waking up around 3. And maybe, Ugh. Well, but then I go back to sleep for an hour. Yeah. You know, it's, I, I start rolling around, sleep. right? And some mornings when I wake up around four or so, I roll over and, and I might uh, I might uh, pick up my phone like everyone else. And I picked it up and I said, ah, what the fuck? I want to see what's going on on the Twitter. And uh, I rolled over. You forgot your phone? Actually, uh, where's, uh, what's his face? Uh, his name's Chris. Chris, uh, yeah. He's been here for Whatever. a year. I don't fucking pay attention <laughs> to anybody's name. <laughs> He's okay. it's been here for a long time now. I know. He's, uh, <laughs> whatever. No, I know, Chris. I was, <laughs> I'm joking with you. I'm just like, where's that? Uh, here, here. here he comes. So uh, I roll over, and I uh, I turn on the Twitter, and uh, I see Andy Levy tweeting, who's a great one to follow. And I'm like, oh, why is he tweeting? I didn't even see what he wrote yet. Yeah. But I'm like, if he's in, up in the middle of the night tweeting, this can't be good. Something's uh, something's happening. And then, then you got uh, Joe Rogan. Tweeting from from his uh, marijuana haze, and, and gave up on me. It's fine. No, I had to tell him to get my. I left it in my truck. I understand. I'm a I boy. don't want the fucking. No, I don't want the fucking garage guys stealing my phone. You know those fuckers are. I'm joking with you. They're bro. all savages. Um, and then Joe Rogan's tweeting from his marijuana haze, like holy shit, the end of the world stuff. You know. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm trying he, to get Rogan on the. Floor. Rogan definitely is uh, all up on this shit. And I'm just fucking with him too. And then uh, Charlie Sheen's like, I can't find it because Twitter is just out of control right now. And Charlie Sheen, uh, Sheen said something like, uh, had uh, 50 cops in my house, and I'm still here winning, something like that. Oh, or really? Or said something like fastball and then explains and goes, yeah, winning. Course. And God bless Coke Logic. Coke Logic goes, hey, Charlie, 
Turn on your TV. Yeah, no one gives a shit. No one gives a shit about you anymore. Just like we said two days ago, by yes. the way. We said what's going to happen is going to be another big event, and uh, Charlie Sheen is going to go bye-bye because they're going to have to cover the new event, and they never go back to the one they were covering before no. the new event. No, what you're seeing here is pretty much... The 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 tailing off of the Charlie Sheen thing. Tailing it's off. He done. Just, that that fucking that coverage just got swept out to sea. It's with, like with a tsunami. tsunami. It's a news it, tsunami sweeping Charlie Sheen's story away. It's done, Charlie. It's done. Yeah, you had your time. You it had wasn't a nice really, arc Wasn't cover. really any news, right? There wasn't a giant story that was happening mm -hmm. uh, where where it, it took Charlie Sheen off of the. No. Uh, front pages and stuff. But this, now, forget it. This is, uh, by the way, uh, we we make fun of local news all the fucking time. Yeah. They're, they're useless. They're completely useless. I called ahead and said, make sure every one of our TVs is on Fox, yeah. MSNBC, CNN, Headline News, CNBC, yeah. uh, and the rest of them. Because look what local uh, news is doing. Right, except for one local news channel so we can see how fucking stupid they are. We do have are. one, you're right, yeah. out, of, out of the eight. The local news here, Fox, which is one of the worst, they're talking about like a little flooding in Jersey and, yeah. and maybe the commute's going to be a little tough. They got somebody from uh, New Jersey Transit on the phone right now. This, there, there was an 8.9 earthquake. 80 miles off the shore of Japan, you assholes. And a tsunami that you, swept in and just took everything away. And you can't, you know, turn your coverage around and say, fuck all this local shit? Oh, they got to have the local uh, angle. On the oh, oh, wow, no. that's crazy. They're showing, like, water a bit high in one of the uh, Jersey towns. Someone's backyard, oh, and I boy. guess there's a river back there, right. and uh, it's kind of overflowed its banks a little. But there's room and, between uh, the water wow. and the house. If you turn yeah. on CNN... You'll see a whole village fucking going out to sea. We were amazed because it, it like it's some biblical shit. There was uh, a water, a flood, and there was fire on top of it. Right. There's like fl flaming water yeah. is washing its way over Japan. That's never good. And uh, no. So no. how about you blow? Look, she's doing the weather for New York City. Oh boy, should be moving away from our area. Oof! But those uh, this, rivers should be there cresting. Building fires reported. Which oh no, we got the audio set for something else. Unfortunately, yeah, I wish yeah. I could turn that on real fast. She's doing the weather for New York. Blow off all your coverage. They sh they're showing like oozing black death. Yeah. Uh, uh, pushing. Yeah, that's not everything. even water. That's like sludge. When you see every means of transportation rolling in the same goo, yeah. there's airplanes, boats, buses, yeah. uh, houses, just trains, just just being pushed into houses. Yeah. I don't think a little uh, a little rain in Franklin Lakes, New Jersey. Well, Franklin Lakes got four point three inches of yeah. rain. That's amazing. West Milford, we're looking at four point one seven. Yeah. Uh, wow. Some of these small towns in Jersey got thirty feet. Uh, of uh, of wave. <laughs> oh, you mean in uh, Japan? In uh, Japan, yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. So. Oh my God. I guess it would be a big deal. Four inches of rain if we didn't have an eight point nine earthquake off the coast of Japan. Yeah. That's bl that's black death. That like black you said. Death. That's not water. No, at that point, it, it they're showing it turns this one video life. over and over again, which is just just amazing. And then that big friggin' mushroom cloud. Yeah, that's not just a regular fire, I don't think. I bet they don't like seeing that. No. and then the Japanese don't like seeing them mushroom clouds. And you were hilarious right before the show. There was a fire that was next to these things. Oh, it's, it looked like a natural gas uh, uh, storage facility. Yeah. Because it's those big round metal stainless steel globey looking things yeah. that are giant. But you said something like, you never want fire next to those type of things. No it, matter what's in them. We don't even know what it is. It could be a marshmallow factory. I don't know. But, but you know, in those containers, fire never good right next no, to it. No, never. Never. Ooh. Never good. See, the, the fucking local news sucks. Turn yeah. on your Twitter. Keep us on and go to go to some fucking uh, CNN, uh, Fox, whatever your, whatever your affiliation is. I don't give a fuck. But the local traffic authority, are you serious? Have we finally seen the end of hashtag winning? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Charlie Sheen is so done. <laughs> so it. fucking done. Thank God. Uh, but this this story is unbelievable. Yeah, this is a biggie. And I guess there's a tsunami oh, warning. Oh, this is good. Andy Levy is um, tweeting. Japan declares nuclear emergency. Uh-oh. Fukushima number one hey, new watch plant your language. reports abnormality. An abnormality. 
cooling malfunction. Oh, the cooling things are never uh, good. That's probably the worst thing that could happen in a nuclear so, power plant. So, so keep it up with your traffic authority. Wow, this is like everything except well, look Godzilla. At this new, look at this new video coming in on CNN. Whoa! That's just a whole village spilling falling, into something else. Falling into the ocean. Is it pushing it now all into the ocean, or I is it still coming is, ashore? This is the... Is that a whole train? Yeah, there's a train. Yeah, there's every mode of transportation. Look at the boat. There's a... Not even a boat. That's a ship. Is that a ship? Being pushed. Being pushed into a farmhouse. Can we get Andy Levy on the phone? He would be great because he he's been following this for um, uh, since this Mago. started. Look at that! It just it's taking buildings away like nothing. Waves from tsunami. Twitter's the greatest, by the way. They're even ahead of uh, what's on TV. Uh, waves from tsunami caused by Japan quake could wash over entire islands in the Pacific. Oh, you know they. And then uh, the, then the the water's going to hit uh, the west coast of America, but they're saying. There's going to be some fear mongering today, but they're saying it's not going to be anything like we're seeing with these waves in Japan. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, but there's a tsunami warning for the entire west coast of, of course, the United States. Of course, you got to prepare. But they're saying the tsunami, the waves, they travel at 500 miles an hour. Yeah. In in open ocean, and you could barely see them in the open ocean. Is what the thing is. What do you, you mean? Barely, you can barely see them because the the floor of the ocean oh. is so far below it. But it's an energy wave, right. and then when the uh, when the the bottom of the ocean starts coming up toward land, yeah, that's when it builds. All that energy gets funneled into a much much smaller area, and that's when it gets height and more speed, right. and and that's what you when you got to worry wow. because uh, so you can you can barely even see this because usually you'd see you know uh, maybe a, an air force plane would be tracking a tsunami and see a big wave but the thing is you don't see it it's a it's an energy source so how do you know under the water so how do you know where it is in the ocean that's just it you got to estimate from the epicenter of the earthquake and the speed at which it would flow at estimate where it would be at any given time you can't see it so until it's coming in so if you're flying above it you just can't you really... wouldn't you wouldn't see it that's crazy you wouldn't see it i didn't out know in that. the open ocean but then once it hits that slope of land that's coming up and no once it hits the nah. gradient of land coming up to uh, you know the coast of uh, Los Angeles or something like that, mm -hmm. uh, California, that's mm -hmm. when you'd see the power build up. And uh, it's almost like taking uh, a lot of something in a big area and funneling it into a very small area. Wow. And that's why uh, they put these warnings out without really knowing what's heading toward them. Unbelievable. And, and, you know, the death toll is 32 people. That's that's just a joke. I hate when they do that. This is thousands oh, and thousands of people. Yeah, there's going to be a lot. Thousands and thousands I of people. I think there's going to be a lot more than 35. Because that, that black sludge wave yeah. thing has to have a lot of people on it. Yeah. Has to. All U.S. military in Japan accounted for. Uh, How do they know that so fast? <laughs> Here. Uh, we got a guy uh, in Tokyo, Japan. We got Jeff. What? I swear to God, Jeff is calling from his computer. Oh, okay. Jeff. Yeah, you guys hear me? Yeah, we yeah. got you, brother. Hey, uh, just calling, letting you guys know that uh, whatever your media is saying back home, we have no power out here or whatever. The only way I could get out was on my laptop computer here, uh, just with battery and stuff. I'm with the uh, Marine Corps and stuff. They got Hoorah! Uh, they're looking for all, you know, off. Uh, duty military people to help out with this. The thing that's interesting about this is I've been in a lot of earthquakes and that, but this is probably the, the worst one I've ever seen or been in. Really? This, this thing lasted for two, I, I would say two minutes at the most. Wow. It kept, get, it kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger as time went on. Now we've got a problem with, with as, as far as I know, one nuclear plant, which is about two about two hours to the south of here that they can't cool the reactors down. Well, there's one that's just right up over here to the east by the coast over here that they're saying the work on the street here is, is that you don't want to go in any buildings here because nothing's safe. We keep half of having these little aftershocks of like 4.5, 5.2, and the streets have got big cracks that you could just drive semis into. It, 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 it's just like a biblical thing. I've never seen anything like this before right now. I'm driving right now, and I'm trying to get, trying to get to a, an LZ where they want to pick us up to get us back to Camp Foster, and that uh, we'll head back to Hawaii for help with this rescue effort. So that, but uh, whatever really? your media, whatever your media is saying back home and stuff like that, uh, 
uh, it's nothing compared to what you're seeing here. Just just massive devastation. Yeah, this uh, is this wow. is, this is just developing. Obviously, I mean, we're all right. just waking up over here, and uh, so far the video right. coming in is you can't even describe it to people. They just got to turn on their TVs. I mean, look oh, at that. That's a whole fucking village is moving. Yeah, yeah, that's friend, on CNN friend, right now. I have a friend of mine that was on leave down in Sendai, Japan, and he. Him and his girlfriend was actually eating on the coast when it happened, and he's supposed to be trying to get me some video. But he said that they were that they had like a little shock wave, and he says the ocean actually retracted back out into the ocean. I guess. Yeah, when you see he that happen. That, he said that actually look. He said there was great big tanker ships, barges, things like that. He said it looked just like you when you drain the bathtub, and he said back up on the horizon. You could actually see the wave. He says it, he says it looked like it's twenty twenty five feet when he says when it came in and hit. He says that they knew what was going on. They ran, and he says that they ran for at least a half a mile. And he says it still caught them and that. But over here, they're they're still they're still saying aftershocks anywhere from four point five to six point oh the rest of today or even into tomorrow. Yeah, so. I heard that they're getting huge aftershocks still. Uh, yeah. Wow, that's that's something. Did did he know when the water went out? He knew what that was and started getting the hell out of there. Yeah, yeah, he did. He said that he grabbed his girlfriend and they ran. And he said that the the, the warnings over here they have a lot of the warning systems like from back at home, like yeah, you have your tornado sirens. Yeah, yeah. that's what they ha that, like that's uh, what they have uh, over here with with. Uh, sure, warnings. Jeff, I got I got to interrupt for a second because you said the tsunami caught him anyway. I, I, that doesn't seem possible. Like, how did they survive it? No, what what I meant by that was is, is is when they ran inland and everything like that. It that he had said it caught them to where it there, it didn't sweep them away. It was just to where the water still, just like the edge of the water had caught them. I'm just going by what he said. It didn't sweep them away because a half mile's nothing as far as these waves coming in. You got to get a. a yeah, right. he, a lot further inland. He might not have been at that place where it was like well, crazy. For yeah, that's true in. too. <laughs> yeah, good point. I, I've been down at Sendai myself before. We've been down Sendai. there like about a year ago. And Sendai is only about 20 feet uh, uh, under sea level. Mm -hmm. And as you, as you go to the west and you, as you go to the west, it, it actually goes up considerably pretty fast. I mean, you can probably go up, you know, cause like where I'm at, like over in here and that sea level and that is, is two foot above sea level. So over here, like if you have a, if you as a, have a tsunami here and everything, it would probably come in about, you know, anywhere from a quarter to an eighth of a mile of that because the land just spikes up if you've ever been to Hawaii and that, mm. and that, um, no, I have, happens. I have a lot of friends that are twittering me from Hawaii that are saying that they're on high alert for a right. six to eight foot wave over there. But again, guys, uh, 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 I don't know how long I'm going to be on here. My battery's going dead, but I just want to let you guys know that, uh, yeah, what the media is saying or whatever, it, it's, it's well, probably true. In it's all worse. fairness to the media on this one, they, they're just warming up. They're not. Uh -huh. They're not trying. They're not up. trying to say anything. Uh, saying anything outrageous. Outrageous yet. But actually, and someone actually calmed down the West Coast a little bit and said, "Look, yeah, most likely some of those areas are going to be hit with a tsunami, but it's going to be nothing like uh, what you're seeing in Japan." And you know what was really weird was is this when uh, what just two three days ago they were talking about the volcano in uh, in Hawaii that it was doing some unusual activity. Ah. Well, on the on the news over here that they were saying that that uh, volcano uh, when it goes into real weird activity that that's always a big sign of something that's going to happen like a major earthquake or that. And actually, they have been on high alert out here for earthquakes. They were actually predicting this thing coming. So, but it just I don't know what they. Were percent on the media back home but they are out here they were actually it's hard to predict an earthquake but they were actually predicting this that it something big was going to happen but they just didn't know where and when so huh. and it, i was sleeping when it had hit and let me tell you what it just felt like somebody punched you right out of bed it just blew me right out of bed and right away you knew what it was and you know, being in, in the military and everything for 15 years and going through three wars and stuff like that, it's, it, you know, you think something got bombed. Or, you know, over here you just never know. So, yeah. All right. But anyway, but anyway wow. guys, I'm losing my battery. No Thanks worries, for, Jeff. Or let me get on there if I, if I can get something. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Watch, watch your ass there. Have fun. <laughs> All right, right Jeff. Thank Take you, brother. Care, All right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was you a long to, sign off. You try to have patience because he's talking about an 8.9 earthquake. Yeah, you know. All right, already. He's, uh, boy.
Losing his battery, apparently. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I want there's a there's a place, Danny, we could go for live live uh, TV in Japan. Really? See, on the internet. I want to see if this. Uh, sure, they're still running. Who knows? Let's see. Hmm. That'd be uh, interesting. Live TV on the computer? That's insanity. His Twitter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There'll be a link there. Hi. Uh, by the way, Ann, so we were just talking about uh, the local news, right? Yeah. I swear to you. Listen to this. It's, oh, it's no. 27 seconds. There's an 8.9 earthquake. Yeah. Nuclear power plants. Oh. Villages being swept oh, away. It's bad. Like you said, water with fire on top of it. Yes. I, I don't even know how that's possible. Flaming water <laughs> right. tsunami. And this is what the stupid local news, Fox 5, just had on yeah, their right? air. It is still raining, and folks in Wayne, New Jersey, all across the rivers of New Jersey, bracing for yet more flooding as those rivers are just maxed out. They've crested, and they are above flood stage. So we'll have the latest for you throughout the morning. Some, some still yet to crest this weekend, though. That situation could yep. get even worse. In the meantime, an extraordinary situation developing overseas and on the seas. At least 29 people have died in an earthquake and a tsunami. <laughs> uh, yeah. After that, oh boy, you have to uh, you have to lead locally. I guess I guess they teach you that. Yeah. No matter what, you got to lead locally. There's people fucking <laughs> being pushed away in their homes right. by by floods in Japan. Yeah. And and locally, they're pretty much doing what amounts to a rain, rain, go away. Yeah. Uh, scenario. Correct. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have to retweet this link because you can watch uh, live Japanese TV. That's uh... on the road. And in oh. Ishinomaki City, one person died due to something that fell. In Lifu Town, in Super Jasko, uh, a ceiling caved in and a six-year-old child had died. And his mother is also in serious condition. In Ishinomaki, there's another person who died. And in... Another person people... that died? How do people learn other languages? That's amazing. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> I'm just stunned. Because <laughs> we always like, stunned at her English. When there's some dopey foreigner like walking around, yeah, Times Square or something, and they 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 talk in broken English, you think, ah, oh, that guy's retarded. Yeah, but you don't understand that he, he's got at least two languages in his head. Yeah, maybe the one's a little shaky, but you try to speak another language shaky. Oh, if I went to some place that d just did not speak English, yeah, I'd be like, ah, I'm fucking, yeah, I'm a mute. Yeah, I'm a mute. But we look at these people like, oh, look how dumb he is. He can't speak Dummy. English. Dummy. No, What's he, wrong with you? He's sort of getting by with his English, and he has another language that he could go to. We're so self-centered. We here. really are. Speak English you get out. <laughs> uh, let's go to the phones. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh let, me, let me go to Chris. More importantly. Yeah, Chris, what's going on? Hey, man. Uh, yeah, 8.9 earthquake. Who cares? What happened at the pizza party yesterday? Oh, the oh. pizza party was a huge success. You know what? My we really God. should. My God, it was a huge success for for Roland. Roland's pizza party was the hit of the the company. I was looking at the pictures, and uh, it was one of those situations where I was like, "God, I I want to be there." Oh, really? Yeah, you know those those uh, pictures of events where you're like, "Oh, oh, really?" God, I I want to be there so bad. I, it looks great. I also saw the pictures. Yeah, and I was saying to myself. God, where's a tsunami when you need one? Because <laughs> we had 30 people in the office that we could have wiped 30 out. 30 people in the office <laughs> uh, uh, eating pizza, lots eating tons of, of pizza. pizza. I saw some of the pictures. I guess uh, Ronnie Bennington there from Ron and Fez oh, show was, was in there. His it was, was star-studded. Star-studded. Yeah, you go to uh, E-Rock Radio on Twitter. He's got the pictures. Pictures. And how did Troy do? Oh, it's on do? our Facebook, too. Opie and Anthony on Facebook. How did Troy do with his uh, I don't know. DJing? We'll, we'll get an update in a little while. Yeah, yeah. Because I know that's our tease today. Yeah, yeah, that's our tease. We'll give you a huge, about this. huge update on the pizza party in a little while. Uh, we'll go to Will in uh, Los Angeles. Will? Hi. Oh, hello. What's up, Will? Hey, guys. Yeah, man. I mean, uh, so basically this thing happened about uh, a town about, I think, about 120 kilometers north of Tokyo. And the earthquake, the epicenter is about 150 kilometers off the coast. So, the actually the shake, uh, at least for the, my whole family, my friends, and everyone lives in Tokyo. And I, uh, you know, I try to call them, but all the phones were down. So I got through to them on the internet, and they said, uh, you know, they said they were actually uh, it wasn't. They said it wasn't as bad in the capital, 
but the, yeah, the problem is like you guys said, it was the tsunamis that just been wiping out these villages and yeah, like, and you guys have seen the footages. I mean, yeah, that's the cr crazy stuff. The earthquake. Japan's always been pretty good with uh, Earth uh, or Tokyo has always been pretty good with uh, earthquake-proof buildings and things like that. A lot of the major cities. Um, they kind of learned, like, oh, yeah, we got a few earthquakes here. We got to put some shock absorbers in these buildings. <laughs> mm -hmm. But some of the outlying villages and and smaller towns just wiped out. You oh, see absolutely. the you see that flood going through, and it's just pulverized towns it, f That's... being pushed by a river of fire and black muck. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's one of those kind of, and everybody keeps bringing up, you know, oh, we are kind of closing on t 2012 there. Oh nah, man, we got May. Oh, We're, May is the guys that are like, yeah, we got the May guys. That this May. is gonna help the May guys. That the world ends in May. At least right I around get my, my birthday too. Man. I get what my a cruise crack. in. Yeah, you'll get your cruise in. Come uh, back from vacation, and then uh, and and then right around my birthday, then we'll get that going. Uh, I hope I get that birthday. In, What's at least. how is it supposed to end with the May people? What do they say? I don't know. Well, do they have any uh, uh, they got scenario? Up. They got billboards. I up. see their billboards. I've seen that. But do they have any um, scenario? Is it supposed to be earthquakes, volcanoes? Uh, I think it starts with an 8.9 earthquake. In, oh, really? In March, somewhere, oh. somewhere overseas, way okay. overseas. Judgment Day, May 21st. Judgment May tw Day. Two days before my birthday. May 21st. Dun, 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 dun. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. yeah uh, May 21st, 2011. The end of the world, October 20. What? The end of the world? Well, oh, these. What, what the hell is that? It says the end of the world, October 21st, 2011. Oh, Judgment Day is May 21st. So, so. People. Yeah. And to them it was given uh, that they shall not kill them, but that they shall be tormented five months. And their torment was as the torment of a scorpion when he striketh a man. So, so I guess that's... Um, so what? I don't know. I, we get tormented here. So we're going to have... Torment like, from our bosses. So we're going to have a, like a pesky five days? Uh, it's going to be like a few months of, a few of months peskiness. Of peskiness? Of torment and peskiness. Oh, we could handle a little peskiness. Yeah. I thought it was like the end of the world, end of the world shit. Well, uh... So this could be a bit pesky out there. You could see it coming in five months, right? I think so. Uh, wow. I hope it is. I could use a good end of the world scenario. That'll be a fun five months, man. Wow, look at the, the footage is just more and more video coming in, and and that's without uh, without phone service in Japan, by the way. Yeah, that, that's the great thing about social networking. Now you get some. Unbelievable video right away, but they they, oh, yeah. they can't they can't get their cell phones working yet in that area at all. No, no. Uh, that's why uh, Opie. That's why your pal carries a, a sat phone everywhere he goes. That's really you gotta carry a satellite phone. It's too big. N but I keep it in my backy pack. I don't keep it in my pocket. I keep it in my backpack, and I take everything with me in my backpack. You see what else I got here? Look at this. Look at this. You see what this is? This is magnesium uh, uh, fire starter. See, you, you take this and you scrape it a into a little pile, and then you, you hit that, and it lights the magnesium into like 5,000 degrees, and it can light anything. You're a weirdo. And, and, well, You're prepared for the end of the world right there in your backpack? No, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> what I'm saying is I'm prepared Just for... Just in case you have to get to a higher ground. <laughs> I'm prepared for realistic emergencies that could happen. Like, <laughs> like not... running out of lighter fluid when you're trying to get a fire going. Exactly, because a lot of times <laughs> when I'm trying to get a fire in my fireplace, if it has been drizzling, the water, uh, the wood gets a little damp. So you and it's that. hard to light. So with the magnesium... Yeah, no, I hear you. Major emergencies. No, go That's keep going. That's what I was talking about. A major emergency. Like, I need a fire started because I want to be cozy with my Captain and Coke in my living room. <laughs> I am a dick. Well, you got, you got a lot of stuff on you. I just keep things. You could survive for a little while. It's I I I keep enough things. Not not crazy things where it's going to take me where I got to carry a giant duffel bag on my back. But there are a few th essentials that people need. Mm -hmm. You will need fire. Mm -hmm. You need communication. Mm -hmm. Shit like that. And you need to uh, defend yourself. And you got you're doing well. That's kind of like I like you know. That's eh, all. I got oh, is somebody saying something here? Wait a minute. Sat 
f- phone uh, everywhere. Aunt, did you remember your iPhone? Oh yeah, I uh, did. You remember your yeah, iPhone? You forgot your iPhone. I forgot my iPhone, but I had my sad phone. You're not a great survivalist. I I would you, remember you my re- iPhone. You can't even remember your iPhone from your car. I well, you know what it was. <laughs> I knew I was going to be a little later than usual getting in, uh-huh. um, and I was expecting a phone call from you know because uh, sometimes. Uh, uh, Chris or, or, or Kenny, when Kenny's here, might get concerned if I've been a little, uh, if I'm late a little bit because the, the weather the, with the rain here. Yeah, a lot of rain. And, and without even like trying to equate it to a tsunami, but people do drive like complete idiots. <laughs> we got to cover this from all angles. Yeah. Watching people try to keep their office intact during an earthquake is probably one of the funniest things you could see. It's like they're it's I like know a this game so- show. They're trying to hold their monitor from falling, <laughs> their computer, when, desk things. When do you TV? finally give up and go, you know what? I guess my office is a goner. Yeah. Because these people were hanging in there. It was like a rodeo. They yeah. were trying to stay on the bull. Really difficult to uh, hold on to everything at once. He got a foot on one thing, two hands. And I say that knowing that this is a horrendous tragedy. Oh, so let's yeah. just all acknowledge that, but also cover this from many angles. Any radio stations uh, getting together? Maybe a funny parody song or anything? Whoa! Yeah, huh? Yeah, that was smart. Yeah, maybe. But blame jump us on that. But blame us for your uh, career disaster, you asshole. Dope. <laughs> Look into your own soul, you stupid fuck. <laughs> Look into your own soul, you stupid fuck. You know who I'm talking to. Uh, wow, this was this is awesome. This is some awesome shit coming in right here. Keith in Connecticut. Go ahead, hey, Keith. Hey, what's up? What's hey. up, guys? Hey. Wouldn't it be great if we had, like, a memory card slot in our head where we could download the language every time something bad happens and understand what they're talking about? Oh, that'd be great. This is something they need to work on. Like matrixy shit. Yeah, who cares about the, the new iPads out today? Can you imagine if all of a sudden you're like, I want I want to speak Japan uh Japan uh Japanese today. <laughs> I want to speak Japanish. Yeah, I want to speak Japanese today and you yeah. can just like fuck it download the whole download language into the your language brain and you just know it. How cool would that that's be? That's the kind of stuff though that Michio Kaku's talking about that's saying uh that that that's where we're headed to this kind of uh mix of technology and our own biology and 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 getting that where we're able to actually do things like that. And, and he got that in on the phone call yesterday, huh? Uh no, not yesterday. Oh, uh, this was a prior phone call <laughs> oh, that you okay. hung up on him on the no? board. Yes, like the board. You know what I was thinking too, man. Resistance is futile. T- today is a day that we could use Michu Kaku. My timing couldn't have been worse. And uh, he will not. Uh, I wouldn't even entertain the thought of why. Calling. Don't we, we need don't, to talk to him today? And none of these prepared uh, staff members don't call him because I. What we, we got to keep talk him. To him today? No, we got to pick and choose our battles with the uh, with him. I don't think it's a good time. Wow. Oh, God. Uh, let me see. No, I just slowly get my, my survival stuff up. I, I, don't, I don't go out and buy everything. People are accusing me of being a nut, Opie. They're mm. accusing me of being a nut. What are you, crazy? Things happen. You have to be prepared. What, are you going to be sitting out there rubbing sticks together? Mm. I could make fire. Look, man, here's the scenario. <laughs> You're not going to have time to make yourself a nice little meal. No. You're going to be just fighting off zombies and, and, and Puerto Ricans left and right. Well, that's why, you know, things like uh When are you going to have time ammunition. to build a little campfire and have a nice little warm meal? That comes, believe me. When, when, it, and when the shit hits the fan. If there's a giant clusterfuck of something that happens, and we can't predict everything, you know, whether it's uh, tsunamis, earthquakes, volcanoes, uh uh, uh, even even a meteor. Who knows? Mm-hmm. What are you going to do? Mm-hmm. There's going to be a lot of people in this country, by the way, are very comfy. We live very comfy in this country, and we don't look... And Japan is the same way, mind you. They're a little more, you know, uh, uh, hip to the fact that shit happens because they're a smaller nation, small island nation. Uh, but we as Americans really think nothing's ever, ever going to happen to us. We're shocked when shit happens to, to this country. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're going back to the earthquake in... Uh, uh, California, remember that uh, oh, years ago? Fuck yeah! Uh, that we're just like, oh my god, what? It's on a fault. It's like, it's like, how dare you do anything to the United exactly. States? Exactly. Uh, something like nine eleven, of course. It's like it, it, we, and, and believe me, that was worth being shocked over because it, it's a terrorist. But you but, heard, you heard so many people go, "Why us?" Yeah. Oh, uh, what? We're uh, just like everyone else like, on this planet. We're supposed to be untouchable. And, we're and, open to shit. 
You know, we didn't even talk about Australia. Half of Australia is gone right Half now. Half of Australia is still <laughs> fucking trying to plow out of, of devastation. Haiti's gone. Now, Haiti's still uh, eliminated, and, and gone. Big parts of Japan are in really bad Japan, shape. Japan, uh, oh, we might have a fucking nuclear meltdown going on over there. It, would that hurt us? We don't even know. Uh, depending on cl on wind and, and stuff, it could carry a big radioactive cloud right over us. Yeah, ba we're basically staring directly into the eyes of the Japanese Chernobyl, but we're too busy worried about a couple inches of rain a couple inches in of rain, rain, New yeah, Jersey. Yeah. <laughs> there could be the fucking uh, 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 the China syndrome. Oh, is that Japan? Oh, no, that's not Which Japan footage. Called something I'm else. sorry, I got confused because I saw running water. That's a little town in Jersey that has flood water. No, oh, that's that's Hohokus. Oh, oh, that's Hohokus, Hohokus, New Jersey. Oh, I thought that was Japan. You know what? It looks just like what's. It looks just like the screen below with the look at the, the black below. water of death. <laughs> the screen below, we're seeing Japan. You're an embarrassment, local news. You're and an embarrassment. Fox Five here in New York sucks a dick. Japan looks like look at the, a look. devastating action movie. Yeah, and they're showing a flooded backyard where you could hear. Yeah. <laughs> if you have the two TVs, it's all nice. If you have the two TVs on like we do. It, it just shows you how much of a joke it is. Look at that. It's a babbling brook. It's a. It's a. <laughs> they, someone has a babbling brook in their backyard that they might not have had yesterday. They, they might have a flooded basement, and then right below it is the wall of fire on top of water. Is every bit of technology and humanity falling off a cliff in fire and water? <laughs> right. Travis was saying before to me that it's like it's like uh, building a city in Sim City and then unleashing every disaster at once. Yeah. 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 Yes. yeah. And trying to keep up with it. Well, I gotta build more firehouses. God, we were babbling so much I lost the caller, but supposedly there was a guy online that predicted this earthquake that is getting a lot of attention. I, oh, really? I, I don't know where to go because we lost the guy. Maybe if he calls Not back. Kreskin. Uh, not Kreskin. Kreskin, yeah. we. He's a fraud. I hate to tell people. Kreskin. You do know that, right? He's Kreskin, a Kreskin's an ass. Uh, Anthony, covering this from all angles, I'm sitting yeah. here. I'm really trying to get the, the latest on the earthquake. Yes. I got CNN on. And they got a reporter that can't handle her S's and C's. Oh, no. Really? Yeah. Now, what's so that I about? Haven't... Huh? What's that you about? Is, hear it? It, is it because of any type of um, stereotypical ethnic uh, problem? Or is it a I've, speech impediment? I, I've, I've seen the, uh, the Japanese yes. handle their S's and C's. That's true. So I'm not even going to blame it on the on. It's their... the L's and R's that are yeah, usually they, oh, a problem. Absolutely. Yeah, I'll agree with you there. S's and C's. I've never seen an S C problem with somebody from mm. uh, over there. All right. Listen to this. Uh, we've got the tsunami and we've got the earthquake. Let's start with the earthquake. What kind of shape, uh, in fact, is Tokyo in right now? Uh, well, I can tell you that right now there's an infrastructure problem in Tokyo, but before I get to that, let me tell you what was a shared experience in the city of 13 million people. And I just want to give you a small Shitty. snapshot. And remember, we are hundreds of miles away from the epicenter of the quake. <laughs> epicenter? It sounds like boss. You hear that one? <laughs> the epicenter. Shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, wow. Like I said, we know this is a horrible tragedy. But, but uh, you know, things are happening. And she continues. And this is just one small <laughs> snapshot of what people across the city felt. There were shitty. reports shitty of damage of some ceilings falling. Um, if she says shitty one more time, shitty. I'm calling the FCC, man. Shitty I, walk. I can't handle this fucking cursing on TV. <laughs> Falling. Um, there are many people who felt the shaking for several minutes. I was in one of Tokyo's busiest train stations, Tokyo Station, and in that station, um, we felt the shaking for several minutes. The train lines were shut down. This was certainly something sizable. This was different. Certainly something sizable. <laughs> wow. Suffer and succotash. Certainly something sizable. Maybe wow. you shouldn't have picked those three words in a row. Oh, man. <laughs> Is that brutal? She's a fool for the shitty. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that brutal? That is, uh, mm -hmm. that's not something you want to have a, uh, an impediment with. No. During no. a tsunami. <laughs> and someone else saying uh, the moon has something to do with this. There's an article on Yahoo or something. But the moon's so far away, there's no way that that could do anything. Good point. <laughs> that's, that's like, that's 1600s guy. What?
Good point. Why I? <laughs> yeah, man. Like people are shocked, but yeah, when the they're apocalypse, shocked when Armageddon hits, man, you got to worry about the zombies and the Puerto Ricans. There's gonna be, whoa! I never knew about the Puerto Ricans. Well, I said it earlier. It they went, seem like fine people, it Opie. Went, it went right by your head. Yeah, but I, I was trying to blow it off, <laughs> thinking that like no one would notice and we wouldn't bring it back up again, so we keep our jobs. <laughs> oh, they can handle a joke. Uh, it's the blacks that can't handle jokes. Well, and the Asians. But I know the I know the Ricans. They can handle a joke or two. Of course they can. Uh, uh, what 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 would happen uh, yes, if a tsunami hits? Um, the West Coast, and does some devastating damage to the West Coast. Now, I'm not panicky Pete over here. Well, I don't think that's going to happen. But do you know... I can answer that. That would be... Yeah. I've been out there. Yeah. They kind of got like... Um, it's kind of high near the near the coast. Yeah. So I think we'll be all right. You I ever think... been out there with those cliffs and stuff? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just it ain't magnific- getting past the cliffs. It's just been... It's just magnificent out there. But uh, the beach front plays like Santa Monica. Well, that'd be a drag for those. That's people. gone, right? Yeah, but yeah, you know, you chose to live on a beach. I didn't. Yeah, <laughs> but it is true. The elevation does go up quite quickly. Yeah, I think we'll over be fine. there. So I don't think you're going to be seeing, you know, the Capitol if, Records building toppling holy over. Holy shit! Whose ass is that? Who oh, is oh, that Jimmy Norton's? I don't know. Somebody named Sophie Turner. I don't know who that is. That's got to be an uh, ass implant. My, Look my, how that distracting looks like one of those. My th- good buddy Mars just sent that to me. Oh, because <laughs> she's got an ample ass. Yeah, she does. Holy mackerel. i got to figure out who this chick is. That was lovely. Oh, that was all right. Holy oh, my mackerel. God. Look at this. Oh, holy mackerel. <laughs> wow. And that's not an ass implant. She looks like a and, kind of Pam Anderson in her prime prime in that uh, picture. A little, in that bit, one a little picture. bit before she fucked up everything with plastic oh. surgery. And time and holy gravity. <laughs> Wow, who is this Where did girl? she come out of? What did she know. do? What were we talking I'm gonna have about to wiki. before we saw this picture? It doesn't matter. Yeah, She's very, this is much more important yeah, than dead right. Japs anyway. She's a little too Whoa, strippery looking for me. <laughs> Danny said that. I, I have nothing to do with that one. <laughs> She's a little too strippery looking. Yeah, you know what? She's got that Barbie kind of thing going on, yeah, which I'm not, I, I'm not I digging. I don't like that. Sophie Turner, check it out for yourself. Sophie Turner. What is this? Yeah, I don't even... No, what she... Like, why is she famous? Because she's got big Because she has a big ass. And big Not a, a big ass, a, shape, a shapely ass. She has an ample ass, as they call it, ample. Uh, all right, we got a... Uh, uh, I don't Model know, let's see. Reality TV. Everyone wants in. Mm. I'm trying to get, like, Andy Levy or Joe Rogan on, because those guys really know this shit. Wayne in Jer- uh, New York, what's up? Hey, man, slightly different perspective. We need to get our troops out of the Middle East, like, right now. We have over 100,000 troops just on the island of Okinawa. I mean, we're going to be spread so thin. And if this, this, this nuclear goes off... How many guys are we going to lose over there? It doesn't go off. It, uh, it's just not like a nuclear bomb. It'll be a, a giant steam uh, cloud of radio radioactivity that'll, like, yeah. blow over. What happens is if, if you can't cool the core, it heats up, and it gets super hot and melts right through the, um, the encasement building, the containment building floor, oh. and keeps melting through... Uh, the earth until it hits some type of groundwater and then a giant plume of radioactive steam and dirt and debris fly out and then gets caught up in the uh, jet stream and gets taken uh, around the world right it's a wonderful scenario get your radiation suits i already have mine it's hanging in my closet i just had it cleaned did you forget that in your car too (laughs) jesus You guys are great. All right. Uh, thank you, Wayne. Hey, uh, Aram in New York City says, Dr. Kaku mentioned his last time on the show uh, before we hung up on oh. him. And I do remember this. A major Pacific Coast city was due to be devastated by earth- an earthquake in the near future. Remember you said that? What, before you hung up on him? No, this was uh, called oh, before that. Oh, oh, oh. Well. So uh, he might have been a little off in, in his geography. But yeah. We got some, we got some problems well, today. That's, uh, it's not like a... This isn't out of the ordinary. This guy is such a com- ring of fire out Trucker there. Trucker Dan, I know you call a lot. Go, go, go ahead. In all fairness, say what you want to say, and then we'll try to defend ourselves. No, no I actually, I, I, I just want to say a couple of things. First of all, I want to hang with Anthony anytime there's a real crisis. And yes. Anthony, I want to know, most importantly, do you carry a keg of Guinness in your backpack? Uh, that would be very heavy, sir, but um, I would make sure that my top priority is foraging for beer. I would look like... 
the looter during Katrina. That would be I me. Would, I would be I would uh, trudging. Be to, I'd be honored to carry the keg for you. Ah, uh, thank you, sir. I'm thank a you. Good shot, and I'll carry the keg. My okay. arm. I'm building my army of di- uh, for the disaster. There you go. Very good, sir. What about this whole people don't turn on uh, local news yeah. thing? What's that? I didn't say anything about local news. Honestly. Oh, uh, then someone, somebody uh, fucked uh, up. Someone fucked you up because they room. said, "Hey, I, I you- could throw something in because I had a thought about them." I was thinking about... Nah, I don't really feel like it. <laughs> oh, there's a supermoon on, on Yahoo's homepage. All right, this guy, Joe it's and Buffalo. Superman, Opie. Come on. No, oh, man. They're talking about a supermoon. We're in the middle of a hey, supermoon. That right sounds there. like a speech impediment. Let, let's go, Joe. Let's go. I didn't, hey, I didn't, I'm not making it up. It was on the front page of Yahoo. Closest the moon is going to pass to the Earth in eight, eight years, and they predicted Armageddon. Oh. I thought that was when Oprah pulls her pants down. Ha, <laughs> you get a super moon, get it? Because she's got a big fat rump. <laughs> anyway, get me two. Isn't that, and isn't it pronounced moon. super moon? <laughs> super moon. And is, wouldn't that be a black hole joke? Ah, uh, that could be. Well, no, you, cause no. you couldn't see it. Or you can't it, see that. Or is it the crack joke? I forget. Or now. crack. She's Oprah's, Remember that? Oprah's got a lot she's of jokes smuggling. when she pulls down her pants. She pulls down her pants. You could do a moon, crack, and... And black hole joke. When Oprah first hit the scene years ago with her show, there was the joke about she's smuggling 300 pounds of crack. Crack, yeah. It's just so <laughs> fucking wrong. That old gag. Not, it wasn't even funny. It was just stupid. Nair. I want to I hear this woman more, though. The so, super moon isn't until March 19th is what I'm hearing. So this is just uh, the... Yeah. This isn't even... But what does... What's this the, has nothing to do with the super moon. What's the date, though? It's like the fucking 11th. It's uh, 11th or 12th. So it's like a week. Hey, are they monitoring CNN? Because we want the SC lady again. SC lady. I want to play this again. Uh, we've got the tsunami and we've got the earthquake. Let's start with the earthquake. What kind of shape, uh, in fact, is Tokyo in right now? Uh, well, I can tell you that right now there is an infrastructure problem in Tokyo. But before I get to that, let me tell you what was a shared experience in the city of 13 million people. And I just want to give you a small snapshot. And remember, we are hundreds of miles away from the epicenter of the quake. She loves putting S words together, small knowing sh- she can't fucking pronounce them. Yeah, you know, it's not, time to do uh, speech therapy. Is not during your broadcast. <laughs> right. You might want to keep that for home. Seven silver swan swam silently <laughs> seaward. <laughs> By the way, I saw that. <laughs> After the tsunami, seven silver swans swam silently seaward. It's it's what's her name from uh, from uh, from uh, South Park? Mm. The sister there. Huh. Yeah. What's her fucking name? I can't yeah. think right now. Shelly? <laughs> is it Shelly? Shelly? Yeah, it is Shelly. Shelly. It's, yeah. it's the same person. <laughs> <laughs> trying to talk like that, it's almost impossible. <laughs> How do you talk like that? It Shelly. just feels uncomfortable. Yeah. Do it. Look what your mouth has to do to talk like that. It's very difficult. <laughs> and this is just one small snapshot of what people across the city felt. There were reports of damage of some ceilings falling. Um, there are many people who felt the shaking for several minutes. I was in one of Tokyo's busiest train stations, Tokyo Station, station. and in that station, um, we felt the shaking for several minutes. So the train lines were shut down. This was certainly something sizable. This was different. The shwish. were different. I, 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 I. I need more audio of her. Yeah. Who is she? the main reporter they're going to in CNN. She uh, must be on a, CNN. She's not a normal uh, reporter, though. Like yes. She's not a reporter for, for CNN, usually. Yes, yeah, 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 she is. Is she? Yeah. I thought they dr- drudged her up because uh, she does, dredged her up. She does sports. <laughs> sports? <laughs> I do science and tech. <laughs> science and spirits. <laughs> Technology. <laughs> <laughs> is that funny enough, Danny? Uh, uh, she's, it's, a, it's the song that she's singing, so she's right. not talking, but I mean, I think the point kind of yeah. comes across. All right. This wants. is Shelly Shelley from South Park. <laughs> so much pain in the world today. Too many turds I had in my way, but we can fetch the turds together. Passion by turds whenever. <laughs> Don't you know it's a life show boy now? That's exactly what she words. sounds like. But me and you were mother in a world that's full of church. Church! I'm 
Love and <laughs> <laughs> South Park just yeah. knows how to write a song. They really know how to write a catchy little ditty. <laughs> Good news. Rain tapering off for our area. I just want to keep it local oh, for everybody. Oh, thank God. I New thought York we were going to have a big problem. Flooding concerns, though, is the big headline for uh, some parts wow. of Jersey. That morning. mailbox is uh, has to be... Um, it's still... It, uh, it oh, might fine. it might tip over at any second. Oh boy, that's just like a whole village once again floating on top of water. Yeah, on heading, fire, heading toward another village and getting awfully close to a nuclear <laughs> power plant. But your mailbox might fall over in Jersey today. We, yeah, a nuclear Jesus. power plant, which is uh, has a cooling problem. And there is the black sludge thing, the black again. death sludge. Yeah, you uh, can't even call it tsunami. water. It just doesn't look like water when you stir it up and. There's people driving in that shit. That's craziness. Oh, this is a very good question coming in. This is an extremely good question from Kevin in South Carolina. Kevin, you're on the Opie and Anthony show. Yellow. Good morning, boys. Hey. Has that reporter had any updates on the poor girl that sells seashells by the seashore? <laughs> seashells, seashells by the seashore. She was swept away by the tsunami. <laughs> This is a serious situation. <laughs> We're looking at a grave problem with the seashell market today. Because she who sells seashells down to the seashore was swept away by the tsunami. Seashell, the seashell prices are going to skyrocket. Uh, and seven silver swans have turned around. We've heard now they're not swimming silently <laughs> seaward because that is a dangerous place to be after the tsunami. She, now you're being just silly. She, she has a problem with S-words, and she had to work in a serious situation. A serious situation. <laughs> There's humor and everything, boys. Ah, uh, you gotta. I mean, there's certainly other words for serious and situation that you can. Yes. When you just walk around with a thesaurus all day long. <laughs> Finding words that aren't SH <laughs> words. Definitely when you just, S words. When you just rip the S, S words out of a thesaurus or out of a dictionary or whatever the fuck, whatever makes that joke funnier, fuck. <laughs> Oh, God. A uh, girl sounds like Jodie Foster in Silence of the Lambs. Yeah, Jodie Foster had a problem with S's in Silence of the Lambs. That's very <laughs> good, Kristen. Mr. Lecter. Doc Lecter. Doc Lecter. We, Doc never, Lecter. we never have women on our show. So, hey, hey Kristen, oh. just want to acknowledge that's a funny line. Ah. Oh. Oh. See, it's a girl. Hello. Hi, girl. Hi, you're a girl. We like talking to well, girls. Well, what have we got here? You want to you want to talk a little bit or yeah, what? Yeah, you want to. Hi guys, how are you? you want to <laughs> chit chat? <laughs> what are you What are you wearing? So what do you do? <laughs> where Where are you from? <laughs> New Jersey. Oh wow! How's the flooding? <laughs> I'm rowing to work. Oh, oh that's crazy! That's crazy. Uh, people. Uh, lots yeah, of people dead in Japan. She's rowing to work. <laughs> oh, I get it. Yeah, she sounded like uh, Jodie Foster in Silence of the Lambs. Silence of the Lambs. You said I could smell your cunt. Yeah. Oh, oh hey, you look at that. A girl saying Drops cunt. the sea bomb and everything. I didn't, I didn't think girls liked saying that word. Yeah. Once in a while. Once in a I while. Think the, new breed, the new breed of girl likes that. <laughs> The old school girls, they hate that you shit. You break it out like a, a new pair of shoes. <laughs> hey, who's that guy? Who's that guy here in the background? I don't have him. He's driving me to work. All right. I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't, I didn't <laughs> Oh, that's okay. I didn't see. <laughs> so that was the setup hey. for her to instantly be hung up on. <laughs> I know. Our chemistry's been terrific lately. I just didn't see that one. I'm sorry. Yeah, it happens. And then it made it sound like you actually cared about her. I don't care about her or her dumb husband. <laughs> Stop staring at my headgear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe she she woke up, had to report the story, and still had her retainer in. Can we get more audio of her, please? I don't want to keep playing the same clip, but I will. Damn it! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we need new uh, stupid audio. Uh, let's go to Rich in uh, New Hampshire. Rich, higher U.S. West Coast now under tsunami warning. Rich, hey guys, hey. hi. Oh. Hey, hey. Yeah, maybe there's something wrong with the phones today. What's up, Rich? Oh, it's a tsunami. Hey, it sounds like she just went to the dentist and they over-injected her with Novocaine. Maybe that's it. Maybe her lip is hanging down. <laughs> well, her tongue's I, all swollen up. I wasn't going to bring this to the show, but I, I was talking to Anthony the other day about um, Hispanics before the show. And when you see these Hispanics on the news, you know that English... Is almost their second language. Second language. Yeah. I say almost. They're bilingual. By winning. And, and, <laughs> By winning. Oh God! Shut up, Charlie. And, and these Hispanics, some of them. Yeah. 
when they try to speak English on TV, they sound like they uh, just got back from the dentist and the Novocaine is still wearing off. Like mm. It seems like part of their mouth doesn't work for English or something. Well, I guess when people are used to speaking a certain way where you don't have to use certain sounds, yeah, uh, it's very hard to take notice for yourself. blurt those out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to notice that. Take notice for, uh, for yourself there. 4.5 magnitude on Hawaii, right? Yeah, they, hit, they, got, a, they got something. Well, that's shaky cam right there. Where? where? Where are we going? Up up top, up there. That's Hawaii. Oh, and there's a big fucking thing with a lot of smokestacks on it. You sure that's just... You sure that's not Michael, Michael J. Oh, Fox? Oh, Michael J. Fox is vacation? now... He's videotaping his Hawaiian vacation. <laughs> and they just got confused. <laughs> oh, the jokes are flying around. Oh. Not, oh, Steve in uh, Salem, Mass. is very upset with us. Uh, Steve, Why? yes, sir. Oh, yes. Hey, uh, I just want to say, this is Steve from Salem, Massachusetts. It's not nice to make fun of people with speech impediments, <laughs> even though I love the show, and you guys are awesome. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, so one more thing. Sometimes my sister Susie scratches her secret spot. <laughs> oh, my God. Is her that one? secret spot? I didn't even know that. Thank you, sir. I just love the show. You guys are awesome. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Steve, in Salem, Massachusetts. Oh, boy. Home, home of uh, what? The Warlocks? Uh, warlocks and Witches. Who got upset with uh, Charlie Sheen. Vatican Assassins. They got upset. What the fuck that means. Warlocks should never get upset. <sighs> ever. Ever, ever. You're a warlock. I saw his cooking video. God, was that just a fucking. Yeah, man, I'd, be, I'd be upset if I was you. You were the original uh, cooking video guy. I'm the wacky cooking guy. Mm -hmm. Now I got to get a new bit because he's like, you know, gets a little more coverage than I do. I was thinking of um, something to do. I, I think I'm going to be doing it this weekend. Yeah, I'm going to do. I got a couple of things uh, that I'm mm -hmm. thinking of doing. Yeah. Um, I want to do a whole montage of horrible uh, rom com. Movie posters. Oh, bravo. So I got that lined up. In the works. Yeah, I got that in the works. And then uh, the opening for the compound show, uh -huh. uh, I got to do a new opening because I've started with this whole big movie trailer kind of looking sure, thing. Sure. I did it for the Charlie Sheen thing. Is, um, it's going to be kind of a montage of wacky uh, sitcom openings yeah. with turning around and, and oh, nodding nice. into the camera oh, and, nice. la and laughing for no reason. Nice. And then it's going to get progressively worse. That's like 80s sitcom shit. Yeah, yeah, 80s sitcom shit. Nice. Where you get, you're fiddling with something and then you're getting frustrated and you drop it and turn around and notice there's a camera there and you just kind of nod, oh, you, hi, you nod your head, yes, and you throw your arms yeah. up like, oh, ha, ha, and then the credit comes in. That's beautiful. Shit like that. Um but I'll just say it, it gets progressively worse. Okay. I won't say why you, or how. Are you already working on it? Yeah, yeah. Already working on it. Downloaded a lot of work parts. And I will be kicking some homeless guy in the nuts and filming it. So, oh, know, okay. So we're both doing That's some great, great stuff outside the oh! show. <laughs> I, I, would, I, I would love to see that. <laughs> really? <laughs> just fucking wailing homeless guys in the balls and videotaping it. Too many people hate me already. Can you oh, imagine? Oh, my God. That would not go over well. Oh, oh no. Oh, see? Yes. Thank you, Larry. And, uh, yeah, it, oh, I love it. Larry. Larry. Yeah, because it, eh, never mind. It's, it's not worth it. If he calls back, it's fine. If not, whatever. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Coke Logic, who made me laugh really hard on Twitter this morning. Coke Logic. Hey, what's up going on? You, hey, you, you, gave, me, you gave me a laugh at, um, I'm trying to think, like 515, I think it was, because Charlie Sheen was trying to keep his Charlie Sheen thing going. Yeah. And Coke Logic basically just uh, tweets, hey, Charlie, turn on the TV. Yeah, turn on the it's TV. It's not about you anymore, asshole. Exactly. He's an asshole. I, I loved your tweet about that. So what do you got today there, sir? Well, uh, you guys had the guy with the doomsday device on yesterday, and you did nothing. Look what happened. Yeah, you know man. what? You're right. Uh, we could use that now that th this Armageddon thing might be starting up, eh? I know. To, we, we might, might need the device. Somebody might have used it for evil in uh, Japan. Maybe because we didn't help him out. He, he, yes. he gave that to evil. He knew. He knew, and, and we didn't. Uh, we stood by. He knew, and we did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we could we could go to break, but I, I, that device, that device from the caller yesterday, <laughs> the caller. Yeah, you know, you didn't give him the ten thousand dollars, and now look what happened. <laughs> By the way, he hung up uh, too quickly, but watch yeah. what I do. Happy birthday oh. to Coke Logic. Oh, it's his birthday, and that's all I got. Oh, well, happy birthday. 
He's a he's Wish a good a happy egg. Birthday on he has a good Twitter. egg. Coke Logic, very talented. Uh, oh, he certainly is. Very talented man, but socially very awkward. Yes, extremely awkward. That is a uh, that happens a lot with um with uh, artistic people. Well, he might he might have to go on that fucking show I'm watching on the Science Channel. Did have you checked that oh, out? Oh, you yet? have like savants and they they. What's can't... it called again? Uh, I forget what it's called. Something Minds. Yeah, <laughs> I can't remember the name of it. So, Danny, in, in other words, you don't have to worry about being that guy. <laughs> no, never. It's like Something Minds. They uh, last night they had this guy, three years old. He's playing in his bathroom as a little toddler. Falls and has a horrible fall and cracks his head. Basically, Ingenious Minds. Okay. Ingenious Minds. Ingenious Minds. So this kid uh, has a massive brain injury, basically. Yeah. They didn't know what to do to him because it was the 60s. So they uh, drill they, a hole in his head. They institutionalized the guy. He's now 53, and they found while he was in there that he was just picking up stuff and making incredible sculptures of farm animals. <laughs> you got to see this. That's what he does now. <laughs> incredible. And then the stupid uh, people that work at this place, like, well, no, we need to you know, teach you how to tie your shoes and 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 spell and write. Like, and they nah. would take his clay and shit away from him until he did this other stuff that he was never going to be able to do because his brain's all fucked up. <laughs> like, he is, he's fucked as far as walking through life. So just let him fucking mold his clay. So he molds his clay from memory, and, and he that? does it, and he does it in less than, uh, what the fuck is that? It's a giant whirlpool. What is... What is that? <laughs> I don't put it's a giant on whirlpool today. that a, a boat is... What is, is that boat that? getting sucked into it? Yes, slowly. What is... What is... It's like a huge toilet bowl. It's a giant whirlpool in the ocean. Oh, there's just shit happening. <laughs> now why, I don't even know. Why am know. I telling my dumb this story? This is craziness. <laughs> so... So... Wow. But he sculpts these animals within 10 minutes. Yeah. You got to see how ridiculously uh, good these things are. But it's because he got whaled in the head? Yeah, so now his circuitry in his brain, I guess, is fucking rewired and just, uh, you know. He doesn't have to look at it. I'll tell you what. I'd rather be able to wipe my own ass uh, good point. than uh, make a little horsey out of some clay or something. Good point. But you got to check it out for yourself. It's, yeah. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. It's ridiculous that he could do it within minutes. With just his hands, by the way. And it's a perfect horse. Or cow, or steer, whatever the hell, you know? I Wait a minute. When you say ju with just his hands, what else do people use when they're molding things? Well, I think they got little sculpting tools. Oh, okay. Uh, I, thought, I, like, I thought like his feet. Like you've oh, seen yeah, people no. use their feet and heads. I think you get little sculpting <laughs> yeah, tools yeah, to the get tools. the eyes and everything yeah. just right. Oh, okay. He but just this... uses his hands then? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. You got to see right. it. It's a half-hour show. It's an easy watch. I hate hour shows. I really do. Yes, I could wipe my own ass. Because you could get everything done in a half hour. But for some reason, they got to stretch everything to an hour. I hate that. I don't like the recap when we come back from commercials oh, every here. time. Huh? Oh, yeah. That's the new thing where they recap everything. Look. Oh, you didn't tell me he was a, he's, he's, a guy. Well, I was trying to like... Thought it was, uh, I was trying to keep you interested by not saying he was black. <laughs> Stupid me. <laughs> look, at, look at this thing. Wow, he just made a bull. But that's in minutes, by the way. That's not hours. That's 10 minutes of work. That's amazing. <laughs> okay. Holy shit. All with his hands. But he can't fucking tie his own shoes. That is fucking amazing. That is the I love best, this show. That is the best sculpted bull I've ever seen. Lonzo was real young. Oh, yeah. Now they talk about what happened to him. And his mom is, feels really guilty. Mama drop on his head. <laughs> you know, she's fucking uh, yeah. reaping the, the rewards. Reaping the rewards. <sighs> uh, Why don't we uh, take a break? Yeah. Sculptor got to eat. <laughs> uh, oh god all right hell sophie turner is in the new hbo show games of thrones uh -oh. or thrones t-h-r-o-n-e-s i guess that would be thrones right? that is i don't either who cares and we better get more of this reporter with the s's and the c's mm-hmm Mm-hmm. I want to hear more of there's her. a serious situation. Serious. In the city. A lot of situations. <laughs> yeah, you got to get the spit going, too. Yeah, right? a, lot of, a lot of spit. There it is. <laughs> and if you call this show, you better fuck up your S's and C's for a while. Yeah. it's just entertaining as all hell. Yeah. Uh, we got pizza party audio. I don't know what to do. This is a I want to hear pizza party audio. And we'll keep you updated on uh, the 8.9 earthquake.
in Japan with that huge tsunami that hit as well. And um, I believe... And this mailbox might be falling over in Jersey. So yeah, we've got a couple crazy. things we've got to keep they're, track of today for the people. They're keeping tabs on that. Uh, yeah. wh when is the uh, tsunami supposed to... Um either hit or not hit uh, California's coast. I believe it was uh, 8 o'clock hour, sometime in the 8 o'clock Eastern time hour. Are we teasing the tsunami? Yeah, yeah, we're teasing... Um, 8 o'clock uh, hour as West in... West Coast devastation. As in soon? Yeah, yeah, like 8 o'clock, uh, like within 45 minutes. Okay. I think that's it, but it might be 8, like 30 or something like that. In the 8 o'clock 11 a.m. Eastern? I heard 8 Eastern. Oh, maybe it's 8 Pacific. Ah. <sighs> You know, we'll, we'll I was contending with a lot of flooding this morning on the roadways. Perhaps I heard wrong because I was de it was devastating flooding on the expressway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, estimated arrival times uh, range between 8 and 8.50, let's say. What time? What, what, What's a big place? Let's see. It's like Santa Monica. What time? 8.32. 8.32. The in the morning. All yeah. right, so it's going to happen soon. Take the 8.32 a.m. And that's, uh, is that uh, Eastern? Santa Barbara, Santa Monica, San Pedro, Newport Beach. Is that Eastern time? I would think that it would be Pacific time, though. That might be yeah, Pacific I time. Gotta be Pacific. It's got to be Pacific. They'd be like, why, would you, why are you telling us Eastern times, motherfucker? Uh, it has so, to be Pacific. <laughs> so we'll be home. Yeah. I love this shit, though. I'll be in front of the TV oh, all day it. today, man. Somebody could be out there surfing. I can't get enough of this shit. Somebody out there in California surfing, man. Pacific River at Little Falls flood stage, seven feet, Anthony. Holy shit. Forecast to crest at uh, 12.2 feet by Saturday. That's, wow. That's a situation going oh, on. Oh, people. That's a situation. That sure is. Seek shelter. Seek shelter. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll figure out what to do next. We're professionals. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Stay there. Serious XM the virus. Yeah, this is the Opie and Anthony show. Damn it. This is Frankie McDowell, my own TV station live in the Neville Park. Attention, citizens of California. Attention, citizens of Oregon. Attention, citizens of Washington. And attention, citizens of Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Earthquake warning has been issued for California. It's going to be 9.0 or greater magnitude. People in California, you have to be prepared for a major earthquake. It's going to occur in September 2010. The earthquake will be so powerful in California. It may destroy lots of houses. <coughs> it may destroy telephone poles. It may destroy all kinds of transformers. And they knock all kinds of telephone poles over in California. People in California, be prepared. Have your medical kits ready. Have your everything ready. And have all the flashlights ready and canned food and everything. The earthquake will be so powerful in California. It may destroy everything. It's going to be 9.0 greater magnitude. Golden Gate Bridge. May collapse. It may affect Arizona, Nevada, Utah, Colorado. It may affect Montana, Idaho, and everything. People in California, be prepared for September 2010 major earthquake. Have a nice day. People in California, be prepared for a major earthquake. Good luck. There you go, man. Me! <laughs> I like when he just says coughing. Right. <laughs> so gets right back into it. Oh, yeah. uh, hey, me! <laughs> <laughs> that guy's a tool. Uh, I love that guy. He rolls. He does roll. So where are we at? We got an 8.9 earthquake. Yeah, we got our little it, earthquake there. It's Japan off the coast, uh, what, 80 miles out, I believe? Yeah. And about 200 miles from Tokyo, I think. Yeah, I think everything's like 200 miles from Tokyo over there. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea. Tokyo's kind of being protected because Japan kind of jets out. Kind of hooks. It, there's a hook Pulls there. a little hook. And it's on the other side of the like the corner, kind of. Yeah, it's around the corner. It's around the corner from uh, yeah. Tokyo. But, man, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a situation. It is definitely a situation. The water is um, on fire. Uh, yeah, water is on fire uh, as it pushes towns and every mode of transportation uh, back into the ocean. Yes, and then you got the the whirlpool that that we just saw. Uh, God is reclaiming things. So 
What do you do? Do you get religion? What do you do? Put a little religion in do your life. Do you get religion now when all this stuff starts happening, or is it just another uh, another little hiccup that the Earth does every so often? Mm. I watched a great show last night. That whole thing of the history of the planet Earth in like two hours, from the time it was just nothingness mm -hmm. till now. Mm -hmm. Fucking cool shit. Yeah. Just showing everything bubbling, and and when Earth was just uninhabitable by anything, just. Blub, blub, glob, glob, lava mm -hmm. and fucking shit, and then everything just kind of worked. Everything just kind of calmed yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then, like, it cooled, and then, and then, like, some kind of the sun, the sun, the big yellow one, is like hitting, hitting the earth, and and the oxygen in the uh, atmosphere at the time started to uh, make ozone. <laughs> get, get back, get <laughs> back, get back. Started to make ozone. And then after, you know, millions of years, it built the atmosphere and and then plants were able to grow because the ozone kept the radiation from the sun out. And, they, and it's just and they're showing the course of like millions of years. Then a ticker would go off and it's like it would start counting like and then 40 million years later, we have this. And you think 40 million years. Ugh. We haven't been here for shit. Our lives are not even a blink of an eye. Nothing. Not even close to a blink of an Mod eye. What, it, what is considered modern man? Not some kind of primate uh, kind of, uh, you know. Well, uh, considering uh, the Earth's only 2,000 years old. Yeah, yeah. You watch shit like that and you want to tell these real religious people, you go, just shut up, you sound stupid. Just don't say it. Say, I, you know what? Uh, God works in mysterious ways. Just say, I don't know. It's very mysterious. There's a lot of mystery out there. A lot of mystery, so I'm not sure. But I, uh, I believe we're spacemen. Spacemen? Yeah. Specimen? All you have to do is look at some of these videos online yeah. where you see the how enormous the universe is, and then you go, and then you start thinking, start thinking that uh, we were put on Earth. Yeah. You think you think like we were dropped off by some aliens? And maybe that what the maybe that's what the God thing is. Yeah, the people that put us here. <laughs> Cause, yeah. yeah. Well, it doesn't make sense that I keep saying this. There's no, there's man, and then there's a drastic drop off to the next thing. To the next thing. Yeah. That does, why doesn't anyone acknowledge that that doesn't make sense? Because then, then after the drop off between man and everything else, then the drop off between. Each individual species is within range of each yeah, other. Yeah, kind of there. But we're... Like the old gag. You don't see, like, a, a giraffe waiting at the bus stop with you. Or, or getting it... We're never getting into arguments with other animals about where we want to build things. Right. It's, you know, people take take up the cause of the animals. But it's not like, you know, hey, I was going to build something here. <laughs> right. You know, oh, this rhinoceros wants to build something. All right. And he's pissed off. Now we got to go to court with a rhinoceros. Are, are they even starting to try to build a city somewhere? Nothing. Nothing, That lack right? of thumbs is a bitch. And we're, you can't hold a hammer. And we're fast-forwarding quickly as yeah. men and, and squirrels aren't. They're doing the same shit. Same shit they've all Always done, they're, dumb squirrels. They're, they're collecting nuts. They're licking nuts. That's all they uh, do. All on instinct. They just run on instinct. Why aren't they developing iPads anything. and and fucking yeah. smartphones? They're doing nothing. Really? Where's fucking? Where is like a deer standing online waiting to buy the new deer electronic device? Thank you. It ain't happening. But then people will explain, well, that's because of God and uh, yeah. uh, what, is, what do they say? <laughs> I don't. It is. The so we have a, of, kind of a divine spark the divine in us. Divine spark and, and all yeah, that. Yeah, we were touched think, by God himself, and I, that's why we roll. I like to think spacemen. Spacemen. Put us here. Uh, modern man's been around for about 80,000 years. About 80,000 80, years. Do you know the not reign? Not according to Earl. The reign of the dinosaur, 40 million years. Wow, really? Dinosaurs were walking around on the Earth in some capacity for 40 million years. Okay, and then the... And we've been here 80,000. So the spacemen put us here 80,000 years ago to fuck everything up. But, but it kind of worked, like... Time-wise, it works because you look and go, ah, man couldn't have survived before that, really. Right. And and with evolution, if you look at evolution, it really does make sense. Yeah. Things evolve. They just fucking take take their surroundings and, and realize what you need to adapt. And if you don't, you're extinct. If you do, you you evolve. Right. But religious people, they hear evolution. They fucking they put their hands over their ears, their eyes, and their mouth. That's it. But but why um, why can't God be part of the whole evolution thing in some weird way? Because evolution dictates that uh, we were uh, made from uh, primates, 
and that's crazy. Now, you could argue the point, if you're religious, that... Uh, you know, you don't have to take uh, the, the, the Bible as God's word completely with that whole, because they say, you know, the earth was made in a week. Give them a week. They'll yeah. make a world. I, I, I want to know, uh, you know, uh, as far as the Bible goes, yeah. what they left out of there. Because oh. I'm sure they had a nice... Uh, Editing? Ed they had an editor. You think they had somebody there that was just whoosh, whoosh, scratching stuff off? Ah, it it kind of gets a little wordy here. <laughs> yes. Let's take this I out. I want to know about that stuff. we got to punch up this story. One person decided, or somebody decided, ah, we got to edit this book down a little bit. Well, I want to know what they left out and if that matters in, in our day-to-day -day existence. And before God made the earth, how did... Why would there be days that were 24 hours long? Of course not. Because the Earth is spinning. You know, when the Earth makes one rotation, it's um, it's a day. Yeah. So before he made it, it's like on the first day. It's like, well, how do you do that when there isn't a day yet? I'm thinking the first day could be thousands of years. It could be. A God's day is probably a long day. There are some really serious plot holes in the Bible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking too, Dan. Uh, some serious <laughs> plot holes. Well, that's because they had a bad editor. Yeah. Took out some very important parts of the movie. They should have got Judith Regan. It's <laughs> it's like when you watch a movie on regular TV and they cut a bunch of stuff out. And yeah. You're like, this sucks. Yeah, this doesn't make sense now. Uh, oh my god, this. Uh... But things like this will happen: tsunamis and earthquakes. I mean, they've been happening. The fucking they showed how the Himalayas are made and Everest. Two continental plates have to crash just together. smashing into each other. But they're not smashing into each other. But they're not. Other. It's a slow like but but they are in like earth time and size and scope. Right. That is considered a smashing into each other. Right. But it's like they hit and then over millennia they just they just, and then mountains and then grow. push upwards. One plate goes under the other and the yeah. other one goes above it and pushes up Mount fucking Everest. But it's not smashing like we know smashing. No, but but it, it's in a in a uh, universe type time scheme. Mm -hmm. It's smashing. Yeah. It's smashing. Yeah, it's just we we were so self centered on our own time frame and our own self importance You're right. that we think everything revolves around a twenty four hour day and uh, how long we've been on Earth and stuff. We are the most insignificant pieces of shit that have ever been on this planet. I love how we think, oh, we're affecting it. Global warming, this, that. Fuck you. Do you know what happened? Like I said, uh, dinosaurs, 40 million fucking years, and then just gone in the blink of an eye. Mm -hmm. And then other things pop up. We're, we're, Same thing that would happen to us. We're not that special. We are so not special. We stink. I think about my own life, and I think, wow, this, what's special about this? Nothing. And we all have them lives where we do just mundane uh, stuff day after day what makes us special it's like oh great you know we'll be on the internet for quite a while even after we're gone we're talking about you know with our careers and things we've done and the news we've been yeah and what happens when there's no internet and everything's gone and every trace of humanity has been wiped from the planet that'll happen someday yeah absolutely that'll happen every fucking thing that's been on this planet has been eliminated yeah, but life will be somewhere else yeah well you know who knows but I don't understand the people that really don't think there's life out there. Yeah, it's got to be. I mean, you just look at the numbers. It, yeah. It, it has to be. It's infinite. So, you know, there's got to be. It has to be. When we were growing up and they they told us that there's like one little solar system and then there's like, <laughs> what, three planets or something when we were like, growing up. I don't know. We think there's other planets out there. But that's crazy talk. Remember? They would be like, oh, come on now. It's like planets. Well, of course there's planets. Well, and now it's like, oh, there are planets that pretty much look like they could support some kind of life. Yeah. In our Who lifetime, knows? I mean, what what we've learned about space is just mind-boggling. Space. space. Right? Yes. You weren't getting Amazing. pictures of all these distant planets and no, stuff. No, they're blurry and... blobs that they said, look, Jupiter, I think there's a spot on it. <laughs> yeah, and now you now can see, like, like, fucking faces right into it. <laughs> right. There's people waving. <laughs> right. There's, like, fucking <laughs> Jupiter people <laughs> waving back, and you can see them. <laughs> uh, uh, let me, uh, let's go to uh, Howlin. What's, how do you say your name there in Ohio? Uh, Kaylin. Kayla, I called before. I just want to call and, and, and say... Uh, Dumb name. Not so much Anthony. Uh, sorry, man. No, I'm kidding. Not Go so ahead. Anthony, not, not so much Anthony, but Opie. After Kaku yesterday, you're like the biggest radio douche in the world. You could do more. I thought you were kidding about the tsunami, man. I thought you were joking. I oh, shit. Oh, really? 
No, we don't pull that stuff anymore. <laughs> yeah, we can't really pull that stuff anymore, unfortunately. I, I used to love pulling that old gag, but we can't yeah, do I it. I thought you did it again. I thought you did it again. And, and Anthony, I have special. My mom told me so, so I, I won't be out here forever. I don't hmm. know what you thought. Of. All right, brother. All right, you self-important ass. All right. All right, All right. sir. Here he goes, uh, uh, Mr. Important. Yeah, let me let me go to Bill in Ohio. Hello, Bill. Bill. Good morning, gentlemen. We're officially Hi. doing pot talk, yes. We like to do this from time to time. Go yeah. ahead, Bill. Okay. I want to say I'm not a Bible thumper, but Opie, if you are correct. If you believe the Bible in the story of Genesis, God created man in his image and placed upon the earth. So if you believe, y'all, you know, that you believe that, al- that aliens put humans on the earth, and according to the Bible, you're correct. God is an alien then? I, I, I'm not even really joking. I really think we were put here. From, so, we from somewhere else, because we're, we're we're a bunch of humans are a bunch of uptight douchebags in general. <laughs> but if you well, but, if you spend any time in nature, everyone just kind of mm. gets along. Sure, you got the predators and all that crap yeah. going on, but you know. I, but in general, everyone just kind of gets along. There's a yeah, harmony yeah. that happens a in balance. nature. And then you look at humans, and we're all we're all like one second away from killing each other over the dumbest shit. They're all here to do our bidding. When, though, when, all those animals. When that nature kills, it's balance. it's for a real reason. To, yeah. to survive, we'll just kill because you were an asshole on the line at Starbucks. That's true. See, we... Yeah, you're right. And there is, you know, again, you're right again, Opie. There is a huge drop off, just even between humans and. Our supposed closest relatives. That you know, that that has always creeped me out because let's say there is a god and all that and uh, all right the divine spark and stuff. But he decided the animals don't need any of this divine spark. No divine shit. spark. Why not? Or thumbs. How do they explain that? Well, I don't I don't know. But but you're you're kind of making it sound like humans were dropped here like we are now, just blunk. But if you look at evolution, yeah, but uh, we were kind of very animalistic and and lived in kind of you well, know. Why did we uh, balance with with the rest of the world? But we evolved to the point we are now. Why isn't anything else really evolving at the rate we are? That's what I know. Uh, well, that's well, what our, drives me nuts. Our bigger brains. We had larger brains uh, for our body size than any other animal on the planet. All right. Uh, the way we're set up uh, with the opposable thumb, we're able to build things. Uh, the necessity. Uh, we're using our brains to to uh, build things out of necessity. You know, there are people that lived in colder climates and needed to build some kind of shelter. Uh, so right, they, they get... figured it out, and then that led to the next step and the next step, and then you, you just kind of start figuring things out and evolving Fair thusly. enough. But why not? All right, then we'll slow down their uh, their progress. All right. Why, why hasn't a porcupine figured out the wheel yet, at least? Mm, yeah. Or starting its own little fire. I All know. right, we'll slow down. I'm not talking about fucking iPad technology. I think because they're retarded. <laughs> like, like their brain size for the size of their body, the percentage of brain size to the, the yeah. body size yeah. is really bad. Really? They're retarded? The porcupine's got a little head and its little dumb brain, a giant big fat body. Then how is it that birds could fly to Florida to the exact same spot and come right back to the exact same spot in New York? There's that instinct part of a brain so why can't they figure more shit out with that i don't know because they got a bird brain <laughs> a little bird brain they just they don't know shit their capacity is not like humans and you look at uh, chimpanzees and, and gorillas and the great apes as they call them uh they they their brains are smaller uh percentage wise than humans so they kind of walk around a little retarded but they figure enough shit out to like you could tell that like there's something going on there. Well, not that divine spark thing, but there's something going on. They could so, use simple tools. They, okay. they communicate. Fair enough. I, I I do hear what you're saying. So there's people out there that have studied, let's say, uh, the apes for the last 200 years. There's, there's, yeah. There's material. Uh huh. That they could go through. Yeah. Okay. Ha- have they seen any any improvement in the apes and them doing anything different in the last 200 years? Because you look at our well, 200 years, it's pretty you're... fucking amazing. Yeah, but our intelligence hasn't gone up our, in but, 200 years, but our our knowledge has gone up. But has theirs, even even if it's a minuscule? Hmm. Is there good, a study on question. that? question. I have no idea. Because I'm sure they've been studying you know, certain species for a very long time, and they, and they got documentation. So has anything changed? Even, but that's even the like slightest an offshoot. Thing. See, we're an offshoot of the primates from, from many, many years ago. And I guess their offshoot... So they're just setting their ways that's forever? That's pretty much it. They're going to be setting their ways forever. 
See, even when we had here, here's the deal. Even when we had the same brain size as we do now, but in like Cro-Magnon era, when we, we, we weren't building things, we weren't making things out of steel at the time, but we, our brains had the same capacity that they do right now. Mm -hmm. But it just took us so much time to figure shit out because we had to encounter problems and solve them. I think they're as far as they can go with whatever they have. Like, we always had the potential, but we didn't have uh, the, the knowledge yet. Mm -hmm. And I don't think we're, we're done figuring shit out and using our brain powers to, to get more intelligence, more knowledge. Make, it doesn't make sense that they're just done. They're done. All these, all these other animals, they're just they're done, done developing. They're done. I think they're, they're completely you, done with their brain power. do you think power. it would be infinite? Uh, no, I think there is a limit on what any animal's brain can do, even ours. I think there is. Hmm. I think there is. Fascinating. We'll probably hit a wall at some point, and then, you know, some other thing will look at us and go, look, it's retarded. It can't do anything else. Right. It's gone, gone as far as it can go. I mean, with everyone just, like, preoccupied with their smartphones, you'd think another animal would take over the world. <laughs> you think at least they'd have a rotary phone. <laughs> Something. Right? right? You'd think the chimps would have a rotary phone by now. Something. <laughs> at least they would have tied two things together with a string or right, something. Right, anything. Yeah. Anything. That's all I'm asking. Being able to communicate with each other with different things than just... <laughs> You know, mm. how about smoke signals from how about make fire? Anything you want to you want a, a creepy uh, tweet? Yeah. Mongo the trucker. Uh huh. Ope, the moon is is escaping Earth's orbit at six inches a year. Oh, yeah. Without the moon, the Earth will be dead in a million years or so. Oh, well, ain't that a bitch? But it, it, but I it don't won't be. I don't worry about that shit as far as humans go because I'm thinking if we survive a million years and this Earth is like gonna get in ha uninhabitable yeah we'll be somewhere else by then yeah probably we'll go destroy another planet because that's yeah. all is going on that's why we were put here because we destroyed the planet we were on before that there's <laughs> no way of traveling to another planet within the the any foreseeable future oh, sure. of of what we have but fast forward contribute. another couple hundred years we'll we'll be a couple further, hundred years we'll be further out there i don't even think so i think so. it's like do you know how far so, away just, the next star is well, it's like you can't even and and any planet in our solar system is uninhabitable we can't go to any of those planets you sure yeah where are we gonna go? what if we warm them up yeah ourselves really why not Start by kind of just. We need Whalen Yutani to build some fucking. Uh, <laughs> we just orbit. Some shake and bake colonies. <laughs> we just keep orbiting. Shake and, and bake well, planet. And then slowly but surely warm up the planet somehow. Yeah. Which one should we go to? Uh, yeah, what planet would be good? Mars what? is dead. See, I think Mars is dead and Venus isn't cooked yet. That's and, what I think. And anything else has too much mass and we, we would yeah, just be Yeah, yeah, gravity would fuck you up severe. <laughs> Do you think it's possible that we're just skipping from one planet to the That's next? That's what I'm thinking. Like, Mercury maybe used to be, like, the cool planet, and now it's just a burnt-up hulk. Why not? If they were more advanced than us, and like, all right, it's time to leave this fucking thing. But we're going to have to start over. But then, yeah. Because you have to start over if you if you skip to another planet, and that's the problem with uh, what's going on with us. But Venus is closer to Just uh, imagine eventually... We have to jump to the next planet. Maybe it's pulling back because Venus is closer to the sun than than Earth or the or Mars. So maybe as the sun, maybe the sun's going to contract and and make Venus inhabitable. We were just skipping from planet to planet every mm. whatever million years. I don't know. I don't fucking That's know. Such a such a we we have such a lack of uh, even the capacity to discuss this shit. Even people like Michio Kaku, it's all theoretical shit. We, 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 we'll never figure this shit out. You don't think? No. It's too infinite. It's too big for us. We can't wrap our fucking minds around it. I don't know. It's like I think, Charlie Sheen. I think we that, can't wrap our minds around it. I think it. that brilliant guy that was in About Technology. Yeah. Yeah, made some great points in his documentary. Yeah, but he made it was, some funny... It was a snooze fest, but in between naps, man, there were some good things in his documentary about but... technology and where we're going. <sighs> And how it's going to start improving really quickly. Yeah, but it still doesn't answer that where where we all came from, where we're going kind of a thing. There's no real solid answers to as people. Our technology is one thing. We're great. Look, I love the iPhone. I'm going to 
pick up the iPad. I, I love all that shit. Mm. And as they get better, are they going to introduce it into us physiologically? You know, all that shit. But where are we going, really? What the fuck are we doing? <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know either. Because our lives aren't really that important. No. What would make our lives important? If we really knew what the fuck we were doing. Not this theoretical fucking lottery. It's, it's like fucking a crapshoot. All right. Are you willing to sacrifice a lot of fun right now for eternal happiness in the afterlife? Come on, people. Mm -hmm. what, what door are you choosing? Eternal damnation or uh, right hand of God? Why does it have to be damnation? Well, because you're not supposed to have fun now. This is your test. That's stupid. If you knew, though, wouldn't you be good? That's just dumb. Like, why does it have to be this faith-based bullshit? Tell me, and I'll be a good guy. And what did I do where I, I'm, I'm tested as soon as I pop out of a pussy? What, what did I do? Problem? What did I do? What the fuck did I do that I got to be tested? Now I got to be tested my entire life for what? What did I do before this? Give that me the handbook so I can read it and go, look, God what? put you on this earth. Here yeah. it is. And don't tell me the Bible's the handbook because it's too much mystery. When you, when you were growing up, everything was cool until you fucked up, maybe blew off a curfew, came home drunk, whatever it was in your yeah. fucking family. And then... Then you had some shit to deal with, yeah, but now you're content. But logically, we have shit to deal with as soon as we, are, as soon as we're born. Second year eye. What the You've fuck did I good. do? If you're not good, you will go to hell. H e double hockey stinks. That's some twisted shit. And and if you are good, then all this maybe all this temptation. That's, yes, that's twisted shit right there. And the thing is, no one, there's no guarantee. So you 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 do this and you sacrifice what little time you might have. To have a good time and, and enjoy yourself and maybe, you know, take a few liberties. Mm. Uh, but but I, I think the easiest thing to do is get that, that sin out of the way real early in your life, and then you don't have to worry anymore. And then you get born again? Nah, then you don't have to worry. You already sinned. Deathbed confession? What about guys pushing 50 and they've never sinned? They're, they're, they're fucking chomping at the bit. They want to sin so bad. I mean, logically, everyone sins by the by the time their life is over. So why not get the one, and why not get it out of the way early and then enjoy your life? Get the big one out of the way? Anyone that... Like thou shalt not kill or something? Makes it that you're not <laughs> going to be in heaven. So you, oh, oh, get the, get the whole thing of being in, ever going to heaven out of the way early. Real early. And then, and then it doesn't eat on your brain. And it's like, well, if I'm good, maybe I'll, no, you'll never get in. Oh, okay. Then I could just hang out. And, and now you it. can relax because you already know. Fuck out of wedlock. There's people out there that, shit like that. that live their lives and they think they've never sinned to this point in their lives. Mm, yeah. They got to be very, very torn. Uh, they got to be very religious, bothered. Religious people. It's just weird. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. You know, if it works for you, fine. But, uh, wow, when you think about it um, with some sense to it, if you take faith out of the equation, mm -hmm. there's nothing that would ever lead you to believe that that's what's going to go on. In, in your life or afterlife. There's no proof of anything. I know. So it's all based on on faith. So what you're doing, there are a lot of people that, that make fun of people that go to casinos and, uh, and gamble and do things like that. You're gambling your entire life on faith. Look, I'm, I'm gambling a lot of time that maybe blackjack will come up. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. Yeah. I go to the casino and I go, I'm hoping my hand is better than the dealer's. I have faith. That my hand will be better, so I'm going to bet this. Oops, I was wrong. I lose some money. If, oops, you're wrong in this whole religion thing, you just lost your life. And you wasted a lot of good you times. You wasted a lot of that shit. That you could have had. Uh, Patch in Burbank writes, to answer Opie's question, what the fuck did I do? According to the Bible, we're all born with original sin. I know this. Because even Adam bit from the fruit of knowledge. Well, what the fuck that is that problem? That wasn't my fucking problem. Exactly. Take it out on them. We're not individuals. Then, ha then how come I can't uh, piggyback on someone that's been really good? How come I uh, they, they bash us with the sin part of Adam and Eve with their original sin, but I can't just piggyback on some uh, religious zealot that's been really right. cool? Oh, put me with him, and then I could be a bad boy, but I, I'll take up his uh, good shit. Can we get the guy that was on the phone yesterday to build us a time machine so we could go find fucking Adam and punch him in the face for Five. giving us all his guilt? Five grand each. Can't punch a woman, so we'll we'll let Eve, you know, slide on this one. Mania, what are we splitting it? Five grand each. Five grand each for he the needs time 10 machine. ten grand to go for, for the time machine to go find Adam and punch him. Was it a time machine? I don't even know. And where are we going with the time machine? Are we going back and saying, "Don't fucking eat that apple." Hmm. I say, where are we going? 
Where well, are we going? Well, if we go back and change shit, yeah. we know what happens there. It's going to be an offshoot. I'll take that chance. An offshoot. We could end up where Biff I don't know about Tannen you. is uh, the head of a big casino hotel. I'll take that chance. I don't know about you. I got a lot of guilt. Yeah. I was a Catholic. I'm not. Uh, I'm. I'm not too sure. I want uh, the Biffco I'm in charge the, of everything. I'm taking the chance. Let's yeah. go find fucking Adam right now. Why don't we go ahead and see how bad things get? <laughs> and if they don't get bad for a while, nah, then we'll just hang out from right here. Yeah. But we still have the guilt because Adam and Eve. Just go ahead. And it, <laughs> Biff, if Biff is Jesus, that would suck. You go back and hey, butthead. What are you looking at? And oh. what, what did Eve do, you think? Just Was it just bothersome? Eve was, uh, she tempted uh, Adam. That temptress. With what? Her, uh, with, with the, her, uh, oh, and her holiest with of holes. An <laughs> apple with the forbidden fruit. You know what the fuck that was. Oh, it's not Come an on. apple. Come on with the symbolism. Oh, it's not it about an apple? I think it was more like a peach, if you know what I mean. Really? I think uh, that whole thing. But although they were supposed to be put on this earth to procreate, so the sex thing is kind of... But I think it was dirty sex. In the hole? <laughs> yeah. I think they were supposed the to do something. knowledge? <laughs> I think they were supposed to do something. They weren't supposed to eat from the tree of knowledge. And I believe that knowledge is uh, carnal knowledge of oh. the most dirty kind. I think he put it in her pooper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this has nothing to do with an apple? I don't think it's an apple at all. Really? No. So if he just had straight sex, uh, no guilt for us? Yeah, I think I think that was the but because deal. Because he decided I gotta taste that. He's gotta yeah, he probably went down like, there, like there's some tasting that went on. Like oral sex, probably very frowned upon. So we have to go through this test. By because, who? They were the, the Because they Adam were the wanted only to go two. down on uh, Eve. And where were the rules? No rules. They, well they they were given one rule. Do not eat from the tree of knowledge. So why not? Because uh when you want I knowledge? think that's pussy. I think that's the knowledge of 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 No, pussy makes sexual. you dumb. <laughs> it does. Well, it, you don't get knowledge in pussy. No, you just you, get a stiff you neck sound, and your jaw hurts. You sound and look like a retard. <laughs> and then the, your jaw hurts, your tongue, it feel, the roof of your mouth feels like you were eating Captain Crunch without any milk. <laughs> There's certainly no knowledge oh, going on. Shards of flesh hanging down. <laughs> your lips hurt. <laughs> chapped lips. Your teeth were pressing against your lips. <laughs> Oh God, girls! You don't know how fucking what how much work that is suck, uh, uh, sucking on your clitoris. Uh, the back of your tongue. <laughs> wow, I didn't know there was a muscle back there. No, oh my aching. God! <laughs> what a workout. Yeah. Sometimes you wake up and go, "Why is my neck?" Oh, that's right. Mm. I was fucking trying to make you come for ten hours. Yeah. Imagine yeah. just yeah. You know how silly you look laying down in bed eating some snatch. Just think of standing up and turning your head like that and walking around all day with your head in that position. You'd be aching. Of course you would. Yeah. Well, it's like when you ride a bike. Yeah? Yeah. Early in the spring when I, that... I get back to riding my bike, I got a, I got a really sore neck. You, got a, you get a sore neck? Yeah, because you're looking up. Oh, because you're, you're hunched over a little nah, bit? Nah, I don't do the fucking Lance Armstrong. I'm you hunched don't? over a little bit. What do you have, fucking high handlebars and banana seats? <laughs> <laughs> do you have a sissy bar? <laughs> if you need to know, I have a hybrid. A hybrid? So I don't have to go into yes. the, into the, uh, the Lance Armstrong gay pose to ride my bike. So how high are your handlebars? Mm, yeah, you, still got, you still got to bend over. You got to lean over a little bit. as much as uh, the Lance Armstrong guys. But you're not like hunched over. Yeah, like a jockey. No, and I don't wear speed helmets or any of that shit. You wear the, the pants? No. Bicycling pants? I wear my sweaty fucking sweatpants. So you could get off and stretch and have your cock bulge there <laughs> no. in front of people in the park? <laughs> I never understood that. Like, what are you doing? You're so right. <laughs> what, exactly. What are you doing? That has to be for the other guys. Cock bulge. There's, there's no way to look at that. Nah. I, I don't think girls get into that. I don't think they're looking at tight cock bulges. Really? Do they? Because like, we look at camel toe and fucking we're amazed. And love I would it. imagine it's more for other guys. It has to like be. Like gay guys? Has to be. So every guy that wears that cycling pants. Because I've seen girls laugh and giggle. Like, look at that <laughs> asshole. <laughs> there you go. Travis is pulling up some some stuff from his personal photo collection. <laughs> you queer. I don't know. Oh, Animals man. haven't evolved because we didn't let them. Oh, man. So what? They 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 got they were getting some things done and we were just breaking in front of them and say, "Don't do that." Yes. Yeah, stop building that, you.
So then why do we, uh, when we go deep in a jungle, we don't see some real good shit going on because humans aren't yeah. touching those animals? Exactly. And how come uh, nothing happened in, in uh, sub-Saharan Africa? How come nothing, like, like the, there's no, see, the, there's an example of uh, uh, people that haven't done anything as far as technology goes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> come on, that's not real. It is Is real. that chopped? No, it's real. There's five guys. That's a famous photo. Right? Five bicyclists. In their red Lance Armstrong outfits, and they all got cock bulges. And the, all the cocks are pointing in different directions. That some guy, go off to the right, some to the left. That guy is... Come on. I got to tweet that picture. Is that a legal picture for Twitter? Oh, yeah, that would be legal. Right, keep that up there. I'm going to tweet that. It looks like their pants are painted. There's no need I for can't. that. Why, would, why do you have to dress like that to, to ride a bike? Wear a cup. Or a jock. Uh, <laughs> or a jock strap. <laughs> Let me go to Ray in Westchester. Uh, oh, you doesn't have to yeah. call him Ray. What's up, Ray? Good morning, boys. Now it's a oh. woman. Oh. I'm calling because I think that we were put here by, by aliens because we're the only species that needs clothes. Yeah, why? There you we go. Don't, we don't appear to be native to this planet. And and made a very good point with the technology and this and that. But okay, why isn't another animal going? You know what? I'd be a little warm in the winter with a pair of pants. With some clothes. Why not? That's, well, they they have all that hair. Okay, okay, okay. We 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 were hairier uh, back in the day, right? Uh -huh. Hi, can I get an oatmeal, please? No, no, you can't. You can't. <laughs> you get this isn't some kind of a drive-through. It's a radio know, show, McDonald's Missy. <laughs> anyway, Danny Gallagher, get back to work. I have to go to work now, boys. You're All making right. this into a personal I, phone enjoy call. Enjoy your oatmeal. Thank you. Can I have an oatmeal? Don't put sugar on it. Might as well eat Captain Crunch at that point. See, I think we set off as humans. We set off into all the four corners of the globe. Some climates very cold, some very warm. So I don't think a natural coat on us was suitable. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think early on, wherever we originally came from uh, as humans, we were a little hairier. But then we kind of outgrew that because we knew how to, we and we're resourceful. We started moving indoors, right? Enough to, yeah, start using uh, clothing Fire and, and, and animal pelts and things in cold climates. And then stripping down in the warmer climates. And not needing hair because it's it's kind of fucking warm. Would you have gone? Uh, would you have gone down on a cave woman? Uh, am I a caveman at the time, or is it now? And I've been in a time machine. I've gone back to caveman times, and I'm having sex with a cave woman. Well, obviously you wouldn't if you're you. If it well, that's uh, let's let's go a little deeper in this. How long have I been there? Where in caveman time? My time machine broke. Right, I'm stuck there. Oh, I see what you're saying. Now yeah. I have to. Yeah. Do I have a razor? <laughs> I shave some of that back. Imagine how bad a cave woman's pussy must have smelled. Have you ever been with an Indian woman? <laughs> no, I can't say Travis, I have been. You have, right? I can't say I have been. That's got to be that's pretty a, bad. That's a rough sell. Uh, <laughs> that's a rough sell right there. Oh. Let me think. I would definitely have sex with a cave woman. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, you got to get the poison out. Mm-hmm. I wonder how long it, you'd hold out before it's just like... Who was the ah, first? Because she'd be all retarded. She'd be... Ah, ah. She wouldn't know what you're doing because you're like not fucking her doggy style or from behind. So she'd freak out. You're like, ah, come on, flip over. I want to I wanna fiddle those fucking I, I, flat tits around. I tend to think they were all licking each other in caveman times. Doing the dog kind of... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then something happened where we went many years without the, uh, the licking. And then it, had, it made a huge comeback. Somewhere around the dark ages. The licking wasn't for pleasure. It was kind of like, let me see if she's in heat yeah. kind of a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See if she's ovulating. Yeah, they yeah. They could taste ovulation like yeah. a fine wine. <laughs> <laughs> and then they'd shove it in and have a kid every single fucking time. <laughs> oh, Joe DeRose is here? This planet. He does religious uh, material. Oh, yeah. He's a big fan of uh, talking about religion. Oh, yeah. And then it got to the point, I guess, where, yeah, yeah, where the the... the for pleasure, the licking for pleasure. Yeah, when did probably, that start? Um, started. I would think sometime in the 1400s. Can we look at what people look like in the 1400s, please? Yeah, uh, that was time of like the plague and shit. 13, 1400s. Oh, that was some smelly shit. Ah, that's got to be bad. It has to be after the big plague. But they thing. were big on perfumes back then and oils. Oh, why do you think? To keep the uh, stink <laughs> off. 
What do you think? They didn't wash very often back then. To make it bearable. Like now, if you don't shower for a few days, a couple of days, you're just like, oh, God, I stink. I'm terrible. I'm back then, like, they didn't bathe for months. And they didn't invent toilet paper yet either. So no, what like they wipe with? A lot of cranky asses. And that's where On the Rag came from, I think, because they actually they used just rags. used kind of a rag, I, I, would, I would imagine. Boy, they looked silly back then. They all looked like the same chick, like Mona Lisa. They all had that face. It's like back in the 20s, every woman looked like Miss Crabtree from yeah. The Little Rascals. And they look Harry Potterish from that movie. Oh, yeah, yeah, look. A little bit. They all look like, they look like they're teachers. from That looks like E-Rock. <laughs> Doesn't that look like Iraq? That's Victorian Iraq. <laughs> the Victorian period. This guy's really mad at us. Sir, this, is, this is just entertainment. But go ahead. We're talking in an open and public forum about our ideology and other people's ideology. Uh, wh 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 why are you mad? I am mad because, one, I'm a Christian. I'm listening to you guys. You guys are the best. But I got to say, All think right. about this just a little bit. All right. If we came from another planet, why are we so stupid in the beginning to evolve all the way up to a Blackberry and an iPhone right now? Well, well I we could have been put here in a primitive state to then oh, be able to adapt to the planet. Because if we were fucking well, like we are now, we'd be dropped off and go, holy shit, aliens just dropped us here. Australia. Would we really My answer is Australia. Aliens? Australia. They didn't think much of Australia. Yeah. So they what? Put convicts there. Yeah. Say, so, ah, you guys, let's just put the convicts there. And I don't, whatever happens, happens. Yeah. We don't really care. So maybe the people that... Uh, put us on Earth. Actually, where they where we're from originally is a pretty fucking awesome place. But they were smart enough to realize, oh fuck, our time is going to be up soon. So let's uh, yeah. let's just p put a bunch of people on this new planet and and hope uh, hope they evolve that for us, sir. If it was such an awesome planet. Then why was it dying in the first place if they had to go and find another planet? Why well, we don't know why. We're not. We're not. Hey, hey, we're not speculating as to why. We were put here if we were indeed put here by some type of alien being. Uh, what I'm saying maybe, is... Maybe the planet that we did come from isn't even dying, but maybe yeah. it's overpopulated, or maybe maybe they just threw us over here as an experiment. Well, it's an experiment or anything. It could just there be, could be a, a dumb a, experiment, this earth. It could be a multitude of reasons, but here's my point that you're making. Why would they put us here so primitive? Because uh, it, it's, it's like a growing process. You can't, you can't put intelligent beings and transplant them somewhere we would have had to have been put here at a point in our evolution where we couldn't remember being put here in pre-recorded history and that way we can grow with the planet and uh, not remember that we were dropped off by aliens and freaking out that we were dropped off by aliens get it hey i like that in other words, in other words everybody on the planet is nothing more than a chimpanzee caught in a cage for a science experiment from somebody else from another planet. It's an option. It's a viable, just as viable as any other I, option. I love how he's outraged by that, but yeah, that could be a possibility. You don't know? Hate to tell you, but look at your own life. I say it all the time. Our lives aren't that special in the end. It, no, what's I, special I, I about your life? Man. You have to go to work. Look, there's people stuck in traffic right now, day after day after day, go to a job they hate. What makes their life so special? Yeah, and then you have kids, and and that helps a little bit, but then well, they got the same destiny uh, destiny as you, right? If you look at it in my point, like I said, I'm a Christian from the beginning. It's a lot more than just running the rat race every day. We were put on this earth for one reason, and one reason only, and Adam screwed that up when he took the Adam. How did he screw it up? If God made Adam and God's infallible, how did he make something that was busted like Adam? And yeah, why is God such a sick person that he 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 gave all that temptation to a guy free will. when it all was just starting? He could have free he will. Could, why though? Why would you do why that? Why give us free will then? He didn't give it to him. What he did was he made him in God's image in right. the beginning. Right, the and scientist they, did. <laughs> Let's really piss yeah. off. The scientist who you call God, yes. Yeah, we, they, we were made in the scientist's image. Right, the scientist put uh, those guys down and said, you know what, to make this really fun for this uh, experiment we're going to try with this thing that we'll eventually call Earth. Yeah. Let's really tempt the shit out of them. <laughs> I, I, I want to hear your why we're here for one reason and one reason only. Oh, yeah, Go. sorry, sorry. Okay. You were right in the beginning by saying, yes, there were two trees. There's the tree of knowledge and there's the tree of life. Right. We ate from the tree of knowledge. God banished us from the uh, garden so we wouldn't eat from the tree of life and live forever. Uh -huh. now, we were put here on this planet for one reason, one reason only, and that is to worship God. 
And that was the only reason we were originally put on this planet. By yeah. the scientist. Now, we were supposed to have everything handed us to us. We were not supposed to live the way we are right now. We were supposed to live in a very relaxing, stressful free environment. Hmm. I do. No so how about it's called the compound? How about great there's God beer there. Just Fucking turns the whole thing yeah, around. Yeah, lighten up, God. Can God ever change his mind and just go, oh, you know what? I had you here. I did this. Here were the rules. But you know what? Ah, you guys screwed up a little bit. Fuck it. Have fun. You know what? That's not a good idea after all I've decided as God. He works in such mysterious ways. I don't, I don't, I don't want people to worry about their death anymore. And that scary place. Egomaniac, that, too. Huh? What an egomaniac yeah, God is. is. You're here to worship me. And Jeff did not come in. Until Adam took the apple. Right. Once Adam took the apple, that's when death entered our life. So now... We to live forever up until that point. Why do we have to pay the consequences for two people? Yeah. What did we do? Because when we had, when we ate from the apple... The whole we didn't do it. I didn't do shit. It's like paying reparations for slavery. I'm not for that because we didn't do that either. Come on. Why do we have to pay for their fucking mistake? Because when he ate from the apple... Sin entered the world. It didn't enter man. It entered the world. Everything changed at that moment. Up until that point, there was no killing. Lions didn't eat meat. Meat eaters didn't eat meat. There was no such thing as meat eaters. Why? Why did God? Why did God put a tree there that we weren't supposed to eat from? Yeah, that's that's kind of sick if you think about it's it. It's a sick joke, isn't it? <laughs> that's a really sick joke. Why would he do that? Because at that point, there was no reason to do it. No reason. None. Nothing it, Nothing started yet. If he wanted us to worship him, why would he put the tree there that we might screw up and, and make this awful world? I will give you that one. I don't know the answer to that. All uh, right. Well, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> well, let me write your words up here for everyone to see. I, I don't, don't know. know. <laughs> Has anyone seen Jesus? Is he on campus? I think God might be a little sick. Might need a little therapy. Yeah. Because, you know, he goes, and then he decides, you know what? I'm going to just throw in every human's brain this thing where they wake up in the middle of the night and go, oh, my God, someday I'm going to be dead. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a, a nice thing to live with there, friend. <laughs> right. Thanks, God. <laughs> and you're not even awake enough to try to, like, get your head together and wrap around. It, it's, it'll be okay. Yeah. You just wake up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat. Oh, God, someday this just ends in this darkness. Uh, <laughs> is the tree of life like fucking, is the tree of life like broccoli and, and the tree of knowledge was like fucking pizza? Mm. Uh, I have no idea. No, because the tree you don't know of tree nothing. knowledge was an apple. I don't know what the tree of life was. It does not state. Tree of life must have been fucking literally feces hanging from the tree. If 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 this whole thing was screwed up by by fucking produce, we're screwed up by produce. And you know what? There's a possibility that that could be because in the Bible it doesn't say anything about how you're supposed to get rid of your feces. It says everything else in life, but how to get rid of feces. Well, the, <laughs> the book editor decided. You know what? People don't want to read about out. shit, People so we got, be so we got to take that chapter out. Where are the other chapters? So, dude, you live your life worshiping uh, God because that's what you, you do. Uh, do you think at any time, do you have any shakiness in your faith that you might be wasting the little time you do have on this uh, plane of existence for perhaps nothing after this? Every day. It's not just a one-day thing. It's an everyday thing. It's a lot of stress. Yeah, it really is. This phone call, it was the same thing. Really? Have wow. You, have you sinned yet? Oh, I sin every day. All right. It's, it's not even a question. The mm. Bible says every man sins. All right, the only reason Jesus was put on the earth was to take away that sin. Hey, I need, I need. Oh, wait. So if he took it away, then why, the, why do we still got to go through all this uh, garbage? If we have the original sin, right? And then Jesus came and took our sins away. Shouldn't we be wiped the slate clean and like uh, now we're all good again? That's the difference between a Christian and a non-Christian. What? When we stand before God in the final judgment, uh -huh. our slates are wiped clean from Jesus. Everything that we've done in our life, Jesus takes and says, I bear the burden for that. But, but, but that's as long as we play the game, right? There is no game. No, no, no. But if, but if you're a sinner, if you sin, right? So we but can you sin. don't accept Jesus in your life and you die, you're not getting your sins wiped clean. You're going to uh, Hades. Some people call it hell. I call it Hades. Right? Yeah. 
Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Stop. 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 Because right. now I'm going to add to this. Okay. You hear about these people. They're on their deathbed. They need a priest. They, and they accept Jesus in their life just before that machine goes. Right. They're saved for eternity. Right, sir? If they accept Jesus the way that it's supposed to be. Now, okay. Well, hold on. Now, the second part of this. What if the priest is stuck in traffic? Oh, boy. Does God allow that? God's will. Because you're, you're on your deathbed going, all right, I need, I need to get Jesus in my life immediately. Where's the priest? Well, he's stuck in traffic. Now, let me add on to the top of that. You do not need a priest to accept Jesus. You then why is he walking around the fucking hospitals, that creep? Can you just say, like, you're on your deathbed, could you just, just say, like, oh, I accept Jesus in my life, and uh, and then you're fine? As long as you mean it with 100% of your heart. Oh, my God, but you're going to start thinking to yourself, like... <laughs> Yeah. Oh man, I'm gonna say it, right? And I I do mean it because I know the end is right here. Right. But but there's like a little doubt. You're gonna remember. Yeah. You're gonna remember someone's ass and go, man. Yeah. I know that was wrong, but oh. God, that was a hell of a. Oh, I I mean, wait. I can't oh. think that way. I'm dying. I was tonsil deep in a chick's <laughs> asshole, and uh, oh wait a minute, <laughs> right? Wait a minute. <laughs> Give me a second chance. It's so hard to keep those thoughts out of your head when you're trying to be good. Oh, yeah, Whenever yes. I'm in church for a wedding or even a funeral and shit like that, you're sitting in church and I just start having horrid <laughs> thoughts and, and and I can't look at my friends because we start laughing. Even, uh, uh, you ever get the urge to just start cracking up at a funeral? It's horrible. Yeah. You're sitting oh. in the church and you're like, oh my God, I'm going to start laughing. I got one more instant feedback that explains everything for everybody. It, yeah. it, it wraps up this hour. Oh. <clears throat> This is the answer, Opie. Our ancestors' planet was dying. Uh, your planet, it's <laughs> dying. Something we're thinking about, right? Yeah. But we hadn't figured Fuck. out interstellar travel yet. Right. So they sent their DNA to this planet, knowing it's strong enough to take hold. Oh, that's a good one. So, so the we, DNA goes out. They're like, look, we're smart enough. We know the DNA will survive in, in this climate, is, which will eventually be called Earth. So something will merge with that DNA. Cells will start dividing. Things are happening. And then it evolves into the creature that was on that original planet. I fucking love that. <laughs> that rules. See, because the planet, Cause Krypton... <laughs> Because we're probing right now. We're throwing yes. probes into planets. The Krypton sun yep. uh, destroyed uh, the planet. And uh, they sent DNA, or Superman, <laughs> also known as Superman, yeah. to our planet. Yeah. Look, wow. Man, to everyone, to the religious people, <laughs> believe what you have to. I, I don't know what I Whatever believe. Whatever gets you through your day. I'm not going to lie. I don't, I don't know what I believe. Let me let me tell you something there. Uh, what was this guy's name? Is he still on? Yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you something. It sounds to me like your life is very stressful just with this whole fucking ideology you have. Never mind having to work and raise a family or fucking whatever you got to do. It seems like just being is very difficult for you. Quite the opposite. I am a very calm, very low. Oh, I don't mean not calm or anything. You can be calm or anything, but the mental stress of of trying to be worthy of your God seems very stressful. It's not stressful because I don't worry about being um, faithful or not faithful, but. Uh I, idealistic to my God. I know that I can't do it. That's why Jesus came. I love oh, so you know. Oh, so you know Jesus will take the the burden off of you. So uh, you could just do what you want, and then you go to confession, and everything's fine. <laughs> well, you can't just go to confession and do whatever you want. Because no, I mean, I let's mean, take the big ones off the table. Let's take murder off the table. Let's take uh, uh, even. Adultery, you could you could confess to that, and you'll be fine. Murder, uh, I think, is an auto autopilot to hell. Tell you the truth, really? Yeah, I, I don't I don't know how that is in the same fucking uh, yeah. rule book as honor thy mother and father. You got a lot of guys in jail that have that Bible, though, Aunt. Hey, and dude, they, what and, about that? And they did horrific things. Yeah, I know, but but they that's just them thinking that they're going to go to heaven. They're still going to hell for murder. You think? Yeah. Hey, how come that's in the same rule book, the Ten Commandments? How come murder? Is in the same rule book as yelling at your mom because she fucking pissed you off. Well, do you think it's right, right either way? Is it right either way to do either one? Is it right? No, it's not either way. But I'll tell you what. Yelling at your mom 
uh, because she wouldn't give you the car and and murdering somebody, there's a pretty big drop off there, you know. Mm-hmm. And to put it in the same rule book. It's not the fact of yelling at your mom because she didn't give you your car that he's saying. He's saying respect your parents. In other words, respect the fact that they said no to the car because for whatever reason they have. Look, I'm, I know what you're saying, but I'm saying you could smash your mom in the face with your fist. It still ain't as bad as murder. But it's on the same tablet? Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. See, I can't buy that. How is that other... Uh, other Unmarried sex on the same tablet. I know, exactly. Can't you plea it down? Can you plea it down with God? Does he take a plea deal? Can I have my attorney contact him and go, look, it was only a little disrespect of thy mother and father. It ain't like it was murder. I'm sure God's lawyers got involved, too. All right, look, we know it was adultery. We're going to plea it down to coveting. We're going to plea it down to coveting. Uh... We have the same lawyers as God, by the way. Yeah. You, no insertion you know, policy. You want to know the real screwed up issues with the way that God thinks? <laughs> I, I will tell you, being yeah. a Christian, I Will you get shut it up? Way. I don't care. I love this guy. What, being a Christian what? What happens? If God looks at it as if, Anthony, you're driving down the road and uh-huh. screaming out the window at somebody telling them they should die, God right. sees that as murder. That's just as bad as murder? Mm. That's just as bad So in the scheme murder. of things, I might as well have killed the person? Mm. You might as well have. What? That's crazy. That's crazy talk. That's like minority report. That's the same And way. that's usually who I'm screaming out the window at, <laughs> by the way. Sir, are you... Just a little tidbit. <laughs> are you sinning right now by listening to our show? Oh, very good. Thank you, Ed. Yes, I am actually driving down the road. I'm a truck driver. Oh. What are you delivering? Some awful things people are going to sin with? <laughs> no, I got a, a truck filled you're with a, dildos. You're a harbinger of death and destruction and sin, my friend. That's right. You what are you bringing? No what are you hauling right now? Which horse are you, pestilence? Watch this. You tell us what you're hauling right now, and we'll we'll show you how it's... it's, it's... I could twist this into a sin. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Go ahead. Yeah. What do you got? What, what are you hauling? hauling? You're going to love it. I got chicken carcasses going to a pet feed. Pet feed? Chicken carcasses going to... Wait a minute. So you're making dog food out of it or something? Yeah, it's all... Oh, yeah, fuck the animals. Even God said that. Yeah, God Fuck the animals. He said, fucketh thine animals, right. for they do not have the sparketh well, they wake of up, thine God. The animals wake up in the middle of the night going, oh, my God, someday I'm going to be dead and there's going to be nothingness. And guess what? It's real. Because God never do, cared though? about them. Do you think they do? They oh. don't think that. Really? Yeah, ignorance is bliss with the animal. You ever kick a dog? In the liver after he eats my fucking uh, dinner that I was watching the basketball game to? No. You'll see their soul. <laughs> you see the soul in their eyes. You know that there's something in there. It's not just complete stupidity when you kick a dog. Anytime that Sarah McLaughlin song commercial comes on, ah, you kind of wonder what's going on in that little pre- pea brain on that kitten. You do see sadness in their eyes, right? Oh, when their eyes aren't crusted shut, yeah. They know. Yeah. They know there's nothingness afterwards. Yeah. If I God could you. just take that thought out of my head, my life would be a, a cakewalk. Really? Yes. Waking up in the middle of the night going, oh, my God. Ah. Yeah. That's why you just got to uh, live for the moment, as they say. Right? Yeah. I think Oasis said it better. How? When they sang the song Live Forever. And I know you love Oasis. Oasis whined it better. <laughs> they fucking nyed it better. Well, and I think they talk about God and the uh, champagne supernova in the sky. Oh, it's a champagne supernova, which is God. Is that a God? I don't know. It might be a galaxy or oh, something. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. We're babbling. Uh, religious guy, thank you. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you, guys. God, bl- God bless you. And look, thank man. You. Crazy thoughts today, I understand. Pot talk today, I understand. I, I'm not making... I don't know what to believe. And if you believe in a religion, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, whatever. That's fine. Whatever. I'm not trying to knock you down. No, it's just, a, it's just a, thoughts. It's an open discussion. Some, somebody, uh, they couldn't stick around. They said that a church burnt down that had a lot of really important shit way back in the day. And mm. they lost all that info. Lost all the uh, rules, the rule so book? They, so they kind of cleaned up the debris of the church and went, all right, let's, let's mm. not tell anyone about this fire that had a lot of, <sighs> a lot of stuff we kind of needed. <laughs> let's we just lo- fill in the blanks. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> My dad, my dad used to talk about that, too. He said that there was uh, all s- sorts of scriptures and things like that that weren't included in the Bible. Yeah, there's got to be very, shit very, that disappeared. Very interesting stuff that really, there's a lot more to the, the story. Think how much shit you lose just over time. 
But who wants to read a book that's more than, what, 250 pages, right? Yeah, exactly. If they did it properly, it's probably a book that would fill up this entire room with yeah. pages. Wait for the movie. Wait for the movie. Yeah. Which one, though? I think we're watching it now, to tell you the truth. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Ooh. All right, Joe DeRose is going to join us next. For, yes, I like our bit. philosophical and ideological uh, conversations. That was good. Gets your mind fucking going. I'm a big fan yeah. of aliens, so I'm. I'm You're hoping. sticking with the aliens. First of all, uh, I like that idea, though. I'm That's not pretty cool. I'm not hoping that there's other life forms out there. I know there are. I just, I have no doubt in my mind. I just wonder if we're connected to that somehow here. We're all connected. No, I know we're connected, but I mean <laughs> through the telephone. I wonder if we started somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Kind of a cool thought. Yeah. Wow, that girl's pretty hot. Who's that? Oh, what is she? News girl? I guess. She looks like she's like a traffic girl. She's too, yeah, yeah. She's too hot to admit, allow to read news. <laughs> <laughs> they save the hot ones for traffic. It's yeah, so they really stupid. do. <laughs> 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 yeah, you're, you're going to distract them too much. <laughs> right. so if you read news, they're just going to be looking at your tits. And she's all right, huh? Yeah, she's too shabby. Right. Let's uh, let's do this. So she went to this one kid, there was a kid in my class, he made the same solar system like 19 years in a row, you know? Bunch of styrofoam balls held together with coat hangers. Hey, you're breaking some new ground there, Copernicus. <laughs> He's going, the big yellow one's the sun. The yellow one is the sun. Okay, all right, what are these other planets? The big yellow one is the sun. All right, calm down. The one, all right! <laughs> Virus. Get in touch with the Opie and Anthony Show. 866-WOW-1-WOW. Send your feedback to feedback at opianthony.com. Opie and Anthony. I didn't pick this. Dishwala. Someone, what happened to Dishwala? Someone thought they were being clever. Who, Iraq? Yeah. Dishwala. Yeah. One of those AAF bands, huh? Ant? Counting blue cars. We brought him in to do a show, I remember, and boy, there was a bit of a drop-off after this song. Yeah. They really didn't have anything else to play for our audience. No, they didn't. I think they tried to work another uh, song off the album, and it went it nowhere. It worked. Joe DeRosa in studio. What's Joe. up, guys? What's up? Hey, uh, uh, we've been covering. We are your uh, Japan earthquake tsunami uh, station. I uh, yeah. yeah yeah. Wait, wait, all uh, the info you need. Look at all the TVs going. We got everything on, so we can recite from each of these things. Where you at home can just watch one at a time. <laughs> yeah, the tsunami is hitting uh, is hitting Hawaii as we speak. So we'll see how bad. Oh, that is gets. it? Yeah. Hey, mm. and Joe, <laughs> the, th the sympathy. In his voice. <laughs> <laughs> he literally goes, oh, is it? Is it? Yeah. yeah it's horrible. It's, yeah. it's so far away. Look, breaking news. We did the math. Kauai. First Hawaiian island to be hit by tsunami. Well, we're all looking, aren't we? Yeah. Tsunami hits Hawaii, it says. Well, then don't, don't have an island, you faggot. No, <laughs> don't have an island in the middle of the <laughs> Pacific <laughs> Ocean. Now, yeah. what's happening? It says it's hitting... Tsunami hitting Hawaii right now. Now, they're not saying it might or we're looking into. Are they saying now that it the, is hitting? Well, I, I'm loving the coverage today. I don't know. It's hitting now. So, uh, uh, like, How about some video? Yeah. Where the hell exactly. are you? Turn on a camera. It's the internet uh, CNN. Age. The only problem I have with CNN, it says 60 confirmed dead. Right. Have you oh. seen any of this video? I know. Yeah, I know. If only really? 60 Stop. are dead, it will be tr a true miracle. Stop. There's yeah. thousands and thousands dead. Gotta we were be. watching complete villages just just being washed away. The destruction is... Yeah. It's did, did you see amazing. the, the yeah. one video with the fire on the water? Yeah, yeah, it's horrifying. How does that happen? It's horrifying. And can I just say to, the, to whoever, you know, everybody listening... This destruction is terrible, and will all the homosexuals out there please stop? Because this is God's way of saying that you're all sinners. <laughs> please stop with your anal sex. I'm glad How many someone's... people have to die? Uh, uh, I'm glad someone's <laughs> brave enough to say it. Wow. <laughs> I, we can't pay for your sins any longer. Your sins? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, wow. Uh, Just kidding. Uh, oh. First signs of uh, tsunami have started in Wa Wakakiki. Wakakiki? We know the 
Waikiki Beach, don't oh we? Oh, my God. Oh, here is uh, something we're seeing. What? Um, it, we're seeing some dark. Here comes a, a kind of a wave. Oh, uh, why is that guy in the uh, beach? Why would a guy be walking? Is <laughs> what is he doing? He's bicycling. What is he doing? <laughs> and God. now, look, there is a big kind of wave coming in on this lagoon. And, kind and, of... and he's, he turns so, uh. he, he, he turns so he can see it better. He's like, oh, look at he's this wave. He's on a wave. bicycle. What? Look at the water just creeping up to him. How much do you want to see a wave hit him in the dumb side of his fucking bike helmet right now? And then it froze up. I guess that's when the camera went underwater. <laughs> and that guy. What an idiot. Uh, Joe, I want to play something for you. Tsunami's not okay. a spectator sport. We, uh, un unfortunately, we don't have new... <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Words to live by, literally. <laughs> that's a great line. Sorry, <laughs> so that's an amazing line. It's not a. Uh, it's not a spectator no, sport run, at all. Run, motherfucker! <laughs> the one yeah. time you should just not look and no, run as don't fast look. as you can away yeah. from the water. By the way. Yeah. No. No. But he rides a bike. He's earthy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's connected to nature. Exactly, man. It's all nature, man. Yeah. Uh, we were setting up for our big earthquake coverage. Yes. You notice this place is a little different today, right? Yeah. What's well, activity because yeah. we're we're your earthquake uh radio station yeah yeah we right, always right. have been yeah and i'm watching cnn so they go to japan for some on the scene coverage and i i don't even want i'll just play this for you okay okay yeah. a appreciate this like we appreciate it <laughs> okay all right uh, we've got the tsunami and we've got the earthquake let's start with the earthquake what kind of shape uh in fact is tokyo in right now uh, well, I can tell you that right now there is an infrastructure problem in Tokyo. But before I get to that, let me tell you what was a shared experience in this city of 13 million people. And I just want to give you a small snapshot. And remember, we are hundreds small of miles snapshot. away from the epicenter of epicenter. the quake. <laughs> from the epicenter of the quake. <laughs> Holy Does shit. Does she have a retainer in her mouth? Yeah. She didn't even <laughs> pop her retainer out. <laughs> So, it's uh, spectacular what we're seeing here. This is tsunami. I, w I would assume she learned a long time ago she has a problem with S and C words. So why use yeah. them? Wouldn't I your know. whole brain be rewired in a way that you would avoid between, such words? Think. Between her and all the Japanese people, nobody can pronounce the word tsunami properly. <laughs> tsunami. <laughs> and then this clip gets even worse. And this is just one small snapshot of what people across the city felt. There were reports of damage of some ceilings falling. Um, there are many people who felt the shaking for several minutes. I was in one of Tokyo's busiest train stations, Tokyo Station, and in that station, um, we felt the shaking for several minutes. The train lines were shut down. This was certainly something sizable. This was different. Wouldn't you just say, wouldn't you just say closed instead of shut down? And not say something sizable. This was uh, very big. Yeah, yeah very large maybe that's very interesting jan can you stop spitting in my fucking <laughs> yeah. eye please oh that's fucking funny uh, man that's fucking funny this it, footage is really fucked up we're, we're, the where they're just showing the cars Why? cars aren't supposed to do that off a waterfall pretty much of a highway yeah looks like is... some kind of bridge or something and they're just so, it's just falling so stop saying 60 dead there's got to be more than 60 dead, well, right? Of course, and they be. know that, but I guess they got to keep it with official numbers. Just don't show that yeah. number until until you get it figured out a little better. Um, by That's the way, Roland, very sympathetic. Roland, I yeah. didn't think he'd be so sympathetic, but he walked in earlier and he goes, uh, I'm going to get some Chinese food. And I was like, why? He goes, you know, it's a commemoration of the Chinese people. And it's I like, went, what? He goes, oh, you know, with the Japanese That's people. That's two different same, foods. Same thing. I, he goes, same thing. It's not. It's I felt tantrum. bad for Rowan, man. He could barely finish his double bacon, egg, and sausage <laughs> omelet down there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Look at that. What I mean, that? that's just like, look at the airports underwater. Is that an airport? Yeah. No. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way. It's an airport. Are how many sure? people? How many people died in Die Hard too? And that wasn't a tsunami at an no, airport. That was no. just at an airport. <laughs> There's got to be more than sixty people dead. And that's the footage of the fire near those tanks that Look never that. want Jesus fire near them. Christ! You, you don't want never fire, want near, fire those near those. Things. I don't know what they are, but that can't be <laughs> big good. round stainless steel <laughs> tanks that are the size of fucking planets, <laughs> right. and it's there's fire burning next to it. <laughs> you know that there's yeah. not water in those. You they know. <laughs> That's so they really care about fire, those type of things. <laughs> oh. Or they would have built it out of wood the or something. The worst thing that's could be, that could be That's next to that is fire. All right, all right. 
Fire broke out. Where? Next to the uh, propane tank factory? Yes, you know it's the propane <laughs> or diesel or gasoline. Not good. You guys ever, oh, you ever see that yeah. video of, like, there's a huge fire at some kind of some kind of oil facility or some kind of fuel facility. Yeah. And when this thing finally, because it was on fire forever. Oh, yeah. And I when that, that thing on. explodes, you could actually, in the video, see the shockwave. Yeah, the shockwave pushed shit out of the way. Wow. Amazing when those things go off. Unbelievable. Oh. Well, enough, enough of that. Uh, what's the latest on Charlie Sheen? Oh my God! The real big, the real big story. Yeah, yes, yeah, Charlie. Yeah. G- All right, the real story is no one gives a shit now because there's been a fucking eight point nine earthquake. Well, off, nobody off gives a shit either because they killed the fucking goose last week and let every jerk off with a fucking camcorder and a microphone interview. Him. Well, not he let every fucking yeah. hand job. Hey, Charlie, I just bought a flip cam. All right, I'll talk to you for two hours. <laughs> I, I Dickhead, some, spare oh, it out a little bit. You know? I got some catchphrases for you. How fucking great is he? Oh, God. Ah, he's not so great. I think he's pretty awesome. At, fir- at first, it was kind of cool. I just don't like it. It went whole, bad uh, quick. What is that? Is that from today? That's that oil tank. Oh, okay. Thing. Yeah. Me. All right, all right. What blew up? Did something blow up? That's Ooh, one of those shit. Tanks. Look, look at the shock wave. Shock waves. And the shock wave hits the camera and goes, wow. When? The, uh, yeah. oh, that's fucked up, right? Yeah, that's pretty funny. My heart goes out to these people. Cool. Citizens yeah. of Japan, I'm so sorry that you had to endure this tsunami today. Citizens of <laughs> Japan. <laughs> Surami, um, get it? Yeah, of course. Sorry, it's terrible. We're trying to keep our job, so we figure if we don't laugh at that, we, yeah, we might yeah. be Is spared. that too much? I'm sorry. We might be spared. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I always get reprimanded when I come you know, in. You do, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got yelled at the one dog as a girl from... What's that fucking show with the redhead that Danny was all fucking boned up over? Uh, uh, Mythbusters. Mythbusters. Yeah, I said... I said pussy or something in front of her, and everybody started yelling at me. Oh, <laughs> There's shit. a lady in the Do room. It. She's a celebrity. You don't talk like that. Come on. <laughs> Did we? We were yeah. all just being Yeah, assholes. you were fucking with me. I know. Yeah. But I always get reprimanded. All right. All right I take back my tsunami. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to. What, what, clearing the shorelines. Okay. I'm, I'm just trying to get the latest here. Uh, tsunami expected to hit Hawaii at 3.07 a.m. Friday local time. What? Time is it now? I don't know. How does that Hawaii That's time... Then. Is that now? That's then over there. Is it? What a, day is it? Is that nine oh seven? Where are we? Can someone tell them it's coming? Don't, I think it's tomorrow for them. It happened. It only matters. Let's ask them how bad it was. It only matters what time it is in New York. Stop right. with this other weird time thing. Eastern time is what everything's based <laughs> right. on. What is three oh seven a.m.? We're the important people. That was that was almost six hours ago. Where All are right. we? <laughs> Thank you for taking it a step farther than my last distasteful joke. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> That makes me feel better. All right, back in the saddle. I'm sending my tiger blood over there. <laughs> Shut up. Winning on, Japan, man. losing me winning. Oh, dude, Jesus Christ. I went to the Comedy Central roast of Donald Trump the other night. Oh, how was that? It, it was pretty good. It, yeah. it, airs, it airs next week, but uh, they showed clips of him at the beginning of the show, and I forgot how fucking funny it was. I forgot, A, that he did this and B, how funny it was when he was doing that interview about Rosie O'Donnell and he goes, Oh, yeah. He goes, I'll tell it to her fat pig face <laughs> that she's a disgusting human being. You're fired. Oh, I'd fire her. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> holy shit. I forgot how fucking funny that I was. I remember dude. when they got into that argument. There was a big uh, brawl between those and, and I don't think they'll break that out when he announces he's going to you know, run for the presidency. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. They'll keep that under wraps. Yeah, they'll, that keep that under they'll keep that under wraps. Do you want this? This yeah. guy to be president. Yeah. Well. And all the random fucking models he jizzed <laughs> off in. Yeah, no, nobody's going to bring any of that up. Had a kid with the ditched for some other younger girl. But he and... says he's serious about his run for the presidency. Oh, sure. Doesn't sure have, he is. It doesn't have a shot in He's hell. a fucking delusional bazillionaire. Yeah. <laughs> he's, dead, yeah. he's dead serious, you know, but it's like n- nobody else is going to take it seriously. He thinks he could buy anything, even the presidency. It's up there with fucking Gary oh. Coleman running for governor. Yeah, that, that in, uh, the credibility of that yeah. i gotta ask you something about the roast Oof. you were there mm-hmm. there's a story i think it came out today that the situation bombed horribly where it was really uncomfortable uh yeah were you there for the situation <laughs> i was there for the situation yeah. oh you weren't at the roast no i was there up for the radio no no, no i was there jokes I, better. I, I saw- <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, you insightful bastard. Were you there? Yeah, I was there. Do you remember the situation bombing? Uh, yeah, I could say that I do. Uh-huh. I do, yeah. You He's a fucking... 
No, I'm dead no, serious. No, I mean, I can okay, tell. I don't know. I the only reason you. I'm being hesitant is because I don't know if you're not supposed to talk about it because you saw it a week before they air it. But yeah, yeah, it's, there's, yeah. there's a story out. Oh, okay, yeah. So there's a situation fucking, bombs at uh, Comedy Central's Donald Trump bro. So he it's ate out there. his fucking dumb Italian dick <laughs> okay, good. I, with I, a I, knife and fork. <laughs> and I was so happy to see that fucking wop fucking cocks. And I'm <laughs> Italian, by the way, before no. the slurs start coming out. I know, this is great, though, because at first you're like, yeah, there was something about yeah, it. Was Confused. I, who's the guy? Yeah, someone might have bombed. And then it's like, oh, it's in an article. You're yeah. like, look, this fucking Dago. Yeah, it is yeah. Nuts. This <laughs> fucking dumb, greasy haired fucking <laughs> wop got on stage and bombed so bad. And it was, he was getting, he literally almost got booed off stage. Wow. That's they were saying. booing him. And, and and he gets off and Holy and shit, and somebody great. next, I forget, I think it was Metzger. I was sitting next to Kurt Metzger. He goes, uh, he goes, that was fucking awesome, dude. And I go, yeah, it was great to see. I go, but you know the worst part? He doesn't fucking get it. I go, I oh. would slit my fucking wrists if that happened to me. And he's this like... fucking dumb fucking guinea is going to go back to his seat and go, hey, fuck yeah, you win some, you lose some. Fuck it, I got a billion in the bank. Oh, <laughs> 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 you should... Hickory dickory. You know, you shouldn't be allowed to survive that. Huh? Yeah. Like, they should take away his fame. He's such take a fucking You should not be allowed to be off. famous after you take a beating like that. He's such a fucking jerk-off, dude. He, we, we had him in, and I gotta be... We didn't mind him. You didn't mind him? I really did. I, I'm not saying but that... But, like, in what we'd way? we be friends or anything like that. I, I was expecting a real douchebag. And he, he was all right. You know what he is? I'll say he's all right, because then people will spin it like, you know, come on. He was, he was uh, surprisingly, he wasn't as bad as I thought he would be, I guess. You know what, it is? You know what he is? It's like, he's a guy that I'd never hang out with. Yeah, yeah, but if he was definitely. my cousin, I'd be like, yeah, it's You'd my dumb fucking it, yeah. cousin, Mikey. I have cousins like that, though. Yeah, sure you know you what I mean? Have, yeah. You just go, ah, I fucking sit on oh. Thanksgiving and talk to him about pussy yeah, yeah. for a few hours. <laughs> and I fucking love him. That's it, you know? I got to interrupt. So... He failed to draw laughs when he referred to Trump as Donald Chump. Yeah, but that was... And, and he uh, insulted the other presenters, calling Marley, uh, Marley Matlin ugly, Larry King old, and Lisa Lampanelli fat. Yeah. But was there any joke to it? Or just go, you're old, you're fat. It's that it's that it's that age old thing with comedy where it's like if it's funny you can say whatever you want to say. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But he just is so f he's the fucking antidote for funny. Like oh, he is there's yeah. he is so not fucking funny. Ooh. So he just sounds like he's going like and You fat bitch. You know what I mean? He sounds like a fucking Dago from the Jersey from Shore Jersey, yeah. calling a girl fat. You're know, like, You're a fucking right. asshole. And, and and he also might be dead soon because he said this. Uh he also told fellow roaster Snoop Dogg that he and and the Trump had a lot in common because the millionaire developer owned a lot of property and Snoop's ancestors had once been property. Yes, yes, I remember that part. No joke there. If there's no joke there, then you're in deep shit. Yeah, I remember that. But when he said that, my dick got the chills. <laughs> I was so fucking uncomfortable. I didn't know was how to feel. Was it that bad? Because you could almost, when you read it, you could almost hear a comedian saying it and it being funny. Like, in a way, the idea is kind of funny. All right, yeah. I, all right I, don't li I don't like Jeffrey Ross anymore. Why? We're over them. Why? Done. Why? Why? Why would you do this? Why? What happened? It says, at one point, the audience began to boo so loudly, loudly, excuse me, that comedian Jeffrey Ross had to interject into the act to try to save the situation. Why no. would you do that? No, no, no. Listen, listen, listen. I was there. I was there. It was, it was. Let like him. Nom. <laughs> I was there, man. Yeah. All right. The, the, those boys had no illusions of what, what was going to happen to them. I, uh, I took. Although Ross finished strong, so I don't, uh, now I'm okay with him again. But, no, Ross but was ahead. great. It was, but dude, it, it, oh, you got to understand, dude. It was, it was not, it was so uncomfortable. I was literally, oh, and I love God. to watch a guy fucking eat it. Right. I was literally doing this in my seat. I was going. <sighs> See, like, it, did, like it was endless. so fucking uncomfortable. And when Jeffrey walked over, I was like, no. "Thank God, no! somebody is gonna, dude." It was, it was. Let me ask you. Oh, you were nervous. Let dude. me ask he you. Was something. bombing so what, bad. What, was it to the point where the situation broke down, and he was in the fetal position crying? 
Uh, see, that would have been good. No, but he just All told right, Snoop Dogg that he was owned. You know what? And you're like, you're like, is somebody going to get fucking, like, uh, what is going to happen in here right now? It Trust me, dude, it was really why fucking uncomfortable. Why can't people live in that uncomfortableness a little further? Why would you stop it? I would, I would be like, I like your let Lenny Bruce go. philosophy right now. It's not a Lenny Bruce. It's the oppression of these things that make them powerful. <laughs> but why not? He's already uncomfortable. Let him eat his balls to the point he breaks down. Did it, he write it his got own to the shit? point. I'm telling you, it was like watching a retarded kid try to play handball oh, against a wall. You were, and just day. missing it. Oh, you know what? I, and all, all, and, Did he write right. his own shit? Did he write it? It looks like, like he must. He couldn't have. No, Why? because because there Instead were jokes. He had a horrible writer. There were jokes in there where you were like, "That was a good joke." He just doesn't know how to he deliver it. Deliver That's what right. Kurt said. Kurt kept going, "These are good jokes," but this fucking right. moron doesn't know how to deliver it. Yeah. Right. Okay. And before it gets back sense. to Jeffrey Ross, I, I don't have a problem with him anymore because he went up there to, you know, to kind of calm the situation, and then the situation says, "Hey, man, this is my first night doing comedy," and then Ross said, "And I'm I'm back in with Ross." He says, "And it's also your last." Oh, okay. That's good. As the audience applauded. So, all right. But wouldn't it no problem with Jeffrey Ross? No problem. Wouldn't it bother you so bad? Uh, like, like if you, I don't even know what to put it into terms of. Like, if you if you saw him do a radio thing, and it was the worst bomb you ever saw, and then you knew though that it wasn't going to affect him in any way mentally. Do you know how infuriating that is as yeah, a comic to see okay. that? Like, I could see that. All right, now I got a problem with Comedy Central. Wow, Jesus over there. Uh, they told the Times that most of his act might be cut from the final broadcast of the roast. Why? People want to see the situation uh, eating his balls. He rocks uh, raising his hand. Last night during Jersey Shore, almost every break, they ran big spots saying situation is appearing at the Trump roast. Uh, Why dude, would you cut that from the final uh, show? How great would that be for, for, uh, for everyone to watch him eat his dumb, balls? I want to see it. Any I, dumb fuck that's actually a fan of him, and if if you're out there and you're a fan of this guy, you really are a dumb fuck. Like, there's something fucking yeah. wrong with you. If you're, Especially if you're a guy. There's something fucking uh, wrong with you. A little, mm, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? All, yeah. you're, you're gay. You're, and I'm not, you're saying, gay. I, I'm not saying there's something wrong with you if you're gay, but I'm saying just know this. If you're a guy that, that hangs out on the Jersey Shore and you think the situation, like you're a fan, you're gay. There's the, that's the only reason you could possibly like him is that you want to fuck a man and you get turned on by a six pack. There's no other fucking reason that you should like this guy because a he's competition for you if you have that mentality and b he's a fucking dull. Right. So it's like, it's like this is what kills me, man. His fucking fans will watch that roast and go and go fuck that sitch. They don't get it, son. Yeah. You fucking told them, man. Fuck you em. fucking told them. You killed, man. Son. That's another thing I'm tired son. of. Son. Is all these racist fucking wops adopting black slang. You can't uh, have it both ways. No. And you can't have it both ways. Never. And backing up Joe DeRosa's point, so they talk to the situation after this, right? Be true to your hate. Son. He, he, he says, uh, he called the jokes a collaboration between me and the writers and didn't, this is, goes to your point, Joe, and didn't think the crowd was too hard on him. No. No, not at all, he told the Times. My whole career, people have been hard on me. So, you know, I stood in the pocket where a lot of people would crumble. A lot of people would walk off stage. But I stood in there and I delivered. Jesus Christ. All that means, <laughs> all that means is I'm so incredibly paper fucking thin that I don't care when a room full of people wants me to die. <laughs> That's all that means. That's all it is. That's huh? all that means. If the tsunami hit the situation's house today, yeah. there would be no coverage of it on CNN. No. There'd be no coverage. He, it's it, like Whatever. That, that kills me. Hey, man, I'm just the kind of guy that lets shit roll off my back. Shit. Oh, that means you have no ethics? That's all that means. I don't let nothing bother me. Yeah, yeah son. Yeah, that's it. Fuck it, son. Fuck hey. them bitches. You know, dog. Fuck it, man. I'm going to go get some pizza. That pizza. <laughs> some pizza. <laughs> that is fucked up. It's like probably the first people to drop the N-bomb are always the ones that are adopting every fucking lingo and shit. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Stop. It's ridiculous. Stop. All right. I didn't know what was going on with you because I'm like, why isn't he talking about the situation? That's why I, I went after you. Like he was there. Situation. He didn't come after me. No, where I was like, nice. after. Well, I was joking and saying you weren't oh. even there. Oh, no, no, I need All right, I apologize. Don't apologize. But hey, it yeah. is in the paper, so yeah, I, I want, we wanted to Jeez, know more about Jeff it. Yeah, I didn't know if it was in this p conversation. You, you, the oh, my God, what a fucking. Oh, sorry. Right. The way. One of the, <laughs> one, 
Is she this melting? Is, this what is a happened? crazy. I, 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 I stopped myself. She, somebody was walking down the hall. Oh, oh, I didn't you, say you that. don't know who that is? No, who was it? That was Star I, Jones. Oh, it was? The skin is hanging off okay. her body. Can I talk about her for a minute? Yeah. She's right outside. <laughs> she's right her. Good. <laughs> yeah, she's right there. Fuck her. She's right there. No, I, she, she went that way. I she fucking that hate way. her. She went that away. I can't stand her. She's the fucking can't worst. I can't fucking stand her. Let's talk about people we can't stand. I wrote her it, eyes let's... look like those dogs during the fucking uh, commercials late at night where you got to save the dogs. They're all <laughs> watery. She got that fat woman wrote... that lost weight water eyes. <laughs> get rolling. I wrote a thing for a magazine once that get published. It was an article about uh, movie remakes. It was when all the remakes were happening. Yeah. And I wrote, uh, they're going to remake The Thing for the third time and it's just going to be they're going to shoot it in Star Jones's pussy. Oh, oh, I got the first time they don't have to use any special effects. <laughs> <laughs> and they didn't publish it. I'm like, yeah, you I fucking wonder why. dickheads. <laughs> we got a shot at her cuz she smiled as she uh, walked by so. Oh, she did. Oh, I'll, she's I'll a nice tell lady. her right to her face. She's a, <laughs> bring her I'm in a, here. I'm a lawyer. This Bring her in here. Just, <laughs> so three guys with it's so much misdirected hate. Oh, I know. Just, I'll tell her right through her fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have nothing to say to her. Nah, Not a nah, peep. Really. I hated her like two years ago. I don't hate her anymore. Cause, cause she, what, what happened to her? Where'd she go? She fell off the face of the earth. Where'd she go? The, Gone. The earth couldn't sustain earth, her yeah. anymore. <laughs> her <laughs> it, gravity. It shook her off. <laughs> <laughs> what uh? Wh yeah, what's she been doing? Nothing after uh, the view. Uh, I'll tell that you what she was she's doing. Huh. She had her heart removed from her body. Oh, gee. And it was on a table somewhere. And, and they cleaned it. her shit out, and then they put the heart back in her body. They oh, they that. really did that. So I should give her a little respect today. She's on The Celebrity what? Apprentice, which, by the way, for the first time I'm going to watch, because Meatloaf is out of his fucking mind, and we saw it ourselves in studio. He's on uh, Celebrity you, Apprentice. You didn't hear him going... What what was the quote that they played a million times? He basically threatened someone's life. Yeah, he's out Look, of his mind. Weirdo. He's, he's out of his mind because his music stinks. He, he threatened Gary Busey. Oh, well, you know. And Gary, and what did Gary Busey do? Gary Busey. <laughs> uh, and all yeah. right, you overdramatic yeah, Exactly. Fuck. Hey, Meatloaf, beat it. Nobody wants to hear 10-minute duet ballads anymore. Uh, did you Get the fuck out of here. I would do any Shut up. Would the you do closer. anything? I would do anything. Would, would you, you do, do anything? Uh, well, I would do anything. <laughs> <laughs> would you do anything like fuck a fat piece of shit like me? <laughs> no, not quite, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the big epic. Oh, it's the, the fucking epic worst. songs that go on forever. Oh, lift it up my belly, <laughs> take out my penis, and scrape off the smegma. <laughs> I scrape off the smegma. Oh, they fucking Would suck. Would you scrape off the smegma <laughs> in my ball bag? <laughs> I would scrape. <laughs> Would you ignore the smell coming from my taint? I know it smells like when you leave roast beef lunch meat in the fridge for too long. And I got some swamp ass. Some swamp ass. Cause I'm fat. Oh, so fat. It's so fat. <laughs> uh, uh, cigars of scotch, uh, fat out of hell. Fat out of hell. <laughs> you gotta get him on the show again. He, he is so close uh, to having a nervous breakdown. I'm gonna turn you on to something. It was on uh, MS uh, MSG. Right. They did a little uh, reality show with Meatloaf, and you realize how insane the guy is. Breaks down and <laughs> cries backstage, and he's got anxiety and all sorts of weird yeah, shit. He's going on. I'd up rather in the head. watch a reality <laughs> show about actual Meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, though, this was a good one, man. Just a hunk he's of falling meat apart. and tomato sauce. I'm telling you, he's falling apart. <laughs> He fucking was. Uh, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> All right, sorry. Let me laugh the way he said tomato sauce. Uh, to to tomato. tomato. <laughs> yes. What, uh, what? Oh, here it is. Thank you. Kevin from Connecticut. Meatloaf screamed, I'm going to send you to the hospital in about four minutes. Really? Four minutes? <laughs> yes. What, why is he, four he, minutes he, is an odd time he to He gave pick. Gary Busey four minutes to calm the fuck down. I'll give Gary. you four minutes to run. Gary Busey. Gary Busey would bite his fucking throat out. I, know, I would he's a love lunatic. 
for yeah. Meatloaf to try to fight Gary Busey, and then Gary Busey does that movie Surviving the Game for real <laughs> and just hunts Meatloaf. <laughs> I would fucking love to see that. <laughs> meatloaf. <laughs> he fucking sucks. Uh, Why did nobody call him that on the 70s? When was he popular in the 70s? Yeah, like late 70s, yeah. Mm. Why? Yeah, How did that happen? Why was nobody like it you're fat huge. and your nickname's Meatloaf and you're not a good-looking guy See, and your music? And he's got blows. a scarf that he had on his arm and he's See. wiping his sweat. Is paradise, violence, spotless. Oh, will you sleep on it, baby, baby? Oh. Will you sleep on it? All right. Do we need well, it in real time? You trying to get laid back in fucking <laughs> 1950? And it's, Fuck. It's real time. It's That's real how long time. it takes. You. All right. She said no. <laughs> I'm gonna rape her now, cause I'm really horny. <laughs> <laughs> they, they go over that song in the uh, the reality show yeah. because he was oh, he really was, he was accused of basically being a pedophile because you know a lot of years have gone by since that song hit, and he's gotten a lot older and he keeps the the girl the same age. So mm. now he's on stage. Oh, he's singing and, to some fucking kid. Yeah, and he looks like he's pretty much a kid toucher, and the press killed him over it. Didn't he Ugh. put a wig on? Well, then he decided for the rest of the tour, because he would just go out as regular meatloaf, he would try to at least look young, so he'd put a wig on. Oh, Christ. Like it was the old meatloaf oh, still the saddest singing thing in the world. to the young girl. Yeah, now he looks it's like so fucking sad. Robert Paulson. He's yeah. Just, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's so fucking sad. He's such a fat fuck. The only thing missing from his songs is the sound of him chewing <laughs> in between lines. Oh, would you sleep on it? <clears throat> baby, baby. <laughs> yeah, would you sleep on it? And by that, I mean the sandwich that I left in my bed. <laughs> yeah. Are you sleeping on it? Roll over, I'm hungry. I think you're sleeping on it. You squash my hoagie, baby, baby. Oh, my God, look at that See, wig. That's the oh, wig. God, that's, that's why you got to watch wig. this reality show. By the end of this show, you're going to be watching. Wow, that's a bad wig. He's fucked in the head, this guy. Like look at that dyke. fucking men's warehouse rental tux vest that he's wearing. <laughs> God, he sucks. <laughs> he sucks. Uh, you know, he's, how many times has he bit the microphone because he thought it was a Snickers bar? <laughs> he's a little <laughs> Sorry, on folks. Stage. <laughs> Got confused. I thought this was some black licorice. He's, he is so, like, that, that music doesn't date well either. It no. doesn't really age well. No. He, he came Ugh. in here to promote his latest song, which we never heard it's, after he left. Yeah. I do a few things for like. <laughs> what is it? Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> hilarious. Paradise that's by hilarious. the new trunk light. Yeah. Like he's just trying to recapture yeah. his past glory. I'm here to promote my new song. It's called... Please bang me, for Christ's sakes. <laughs> Please. You're the fattest girl in the room. You're my last resort. Nobody wants to fuck it. Please. That'll be out of my new album. Uh, something, 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 something hell. Out, yeah, something into hell, hell again. It's got to be into hell again. Hell on earth. We're gonna fat, be, uh, fat out of hell. We're like, going to be offered him again, and you better come in. Really? Um, and say all this right to his face. I'll there, fucking come in. The, uh, yeah, he, will uh, I will. I'll come in. All right. The, uh, his, this is why his music sucks, because it's... I like Billy Joel, but I hate old Billy Joel. I hate the oh, scenes really? from Italian restaurant. I, I really you don't like, like that one. I like Billy like Joel Al do you like? Oh, I like say. Allentown. I mean, I like uh, moving out up to like Allentown, like that little. <laughs> what song is that? Got it. Was that Allentown? <laughs> no, that was um. I, 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 da, 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 yeah, yeah. Bottle of red. That's yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Meatloaf sounds like if you mix that with with show tunes, it <laughs> fucking sucks. <laughs> the over dramatic delivery of his lines. Oh, uh, the hold on. That's oh, what oh. it is. Nuke officials bracing for the worst. There's right. your headline today, ladies and gentlemen. CNN is uh, going with that. Thousands evacuated near. Fuck you, Shima plant. Is that well? That's <laughs> it's how it's spelled like that. That's how it's spelled. You know, anytime you can get a good fuck you joke in with a Japanese word. Fuck you, Shima plant. Yeah. Fuck you, Shima plant. They're bracing is, for the um, worst. Oh, boy. We don't even know the. We don't even know half the shit with this uh, earthquake yet. They, I'm sure yeah. they can't get to the nuclear plant and assess it very easily. Oh. With, Meanwhile, that Fox 5 on. is showing ducks near houses in Wayne, New Jersey. He's in Wayne, got New some, Jersey. They There's got some flood there. water. That's a problem right that's there. That's a problem. How do they go from that story to a, a little fucking creek overflowing because, in Wayne? Because that's how pompous we are as as Americans. We think it's always about us. <laughs> Look, 
at that. Fuck enough, guys, enough of that. And look at the look at the picture on the bottom, and look <laughs> at the picture on the top. <laughs> right. There is an entire village on fire, racing across a field to of, the next of village, water, a black death water. To the next village I to see destroy. A boat and a train in it. Yeah. And then there's a guy with a stick in Wayne Town, New Jersey. He's just actually, like, Jesus he actually Christ. is reporting with his hand in his pocket. He's like, yeah, yeah. You know, oh, people are going to be upset. Their basements are flooding and. Uh, their their cheap fucking uh, hung ceiling acoustic tiles will have yeah. to be replaced. The bottom TV says sixty dead, and the top TV says sixty plasma screen TVs lost. <laughs> yeah, well we're gonna have to cave. you know put our fucking furniture up on cinder blocks. And Jesus Christ! For the OCD people that need a perfect show from us every day, yeah, uh, it's actually uh, the Stranger. You were you were totally. Oh, that was doing. the Stranger. Yes, they oh, can't look at go me on going. They're going a little totally rare. Corrected. What's the Stranger? I don't even know that. Well, song. if Erock was paying attention today, he would have played that Probably song a long played time the ago. The Stranger, yeah. Is that the song that's like Billy and Bobby had a bada ba ba? No, no, is that the same song? Still scenes from you. Every single Billy Joel song to you is scenes from an Italian restaurant. There's eight parts. That song stinks. Sing us the song. You're in the Italian restaurant. I'll have veal parmesan. Uh, yeah, he's just talking about that. Uh, can I get the check, please, in an Italian restaurant? I've never talked to a guy that likes <laughs> shitty Billy Joel before. This is kind of fun. No, move you it. Move the it worst out. period, man. No, the worst what period about, like, is Ballad River of Dreams. The the worst period is River of Dreams, what about, first of all. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, what, no, whoa, no, no, what no. about Captain Jack who gets a high tonight? Longest I hate time. that song. Why? It's fucking, I don't know. I'm just not pool. into his character songs. They, they fucking annoy me. This is Armageddon. What? That's a There's world. A, that's, that's what is world. that? That's, that's a never world. Yeah, look at that, dude. Jesus Christ. You think that boat's going to be okay eventually? <laughs> yeah, I think that's fine. Once it gets into the center of the whirlpool, it gets sucked <laughs> down to the bottom of the ocean. Holy shit. Davy Jones locker. That's fucked up, man. Yeah, I know. That literally looks like the thing in Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, at this the end. is just Armageddon movie shit. Is, uh, is, uh, God, I hope the world is. Is E-Rock going to play one Billy Joel song for us today or? Or nothing. We, We're not getting anything. How about just pick one? Like any would have been good to just interject in there. Oh, that's what I was doing. Uh, let me play along. Ahem. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm like Zam Fear. It's. I'm like you got it, you got master it. of the pan flute. You got it. You're on it. What song is this? <laughs> it's a stranger. Oh, this it is, is the stranger. A stranger. I don't know I what the fuck it is. I hate whistling in its songs too. And I gotta call. Oh, it, I hate it. I know. Uh, I gotta call the Science Channel. Yeah, I found a savant. Really? <laughs> yeah, you. Me with my flutey yeah, flute. You could just like totally do I'll play anything. anything. It's like a retard's trombone. Bottle of red. Bottle, that's Italian restaurant. Bottle of wine. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'll have a dessert. Can you bring me the menu? Yeah. Do you have cannoli tonight? <laughs> I'm trying yeah. to finger fuck this skank from Queens. <laughs> <laughs> that's what these songs are really about. You're right. Fuck the romance. Yeah. She's such a pig. She thinks the Olive Garden's a nice place. <laughs> in one of his first gigs in, in Manhattan, and on his way back to fucking Cold Spring Harbor, he wanted to get some, 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 this, some fingers in. After this, I read in a limo. I'm going to take her to see cats. <laughs> That's it. That's what I did. You remembered. Oh, I remember. Oh, oh I remember. Little table. Ooh, look at there's a ship. There's a, not a boat. That is a ship on its side in a condominium. Yeah, the craziest thing was watching the Ow. boats crash into the highway and shit. That was fucked up. What? That's fucking Look at that, dude. Amazing. They're through the... Well, I think I'm uh, too busy looking at the local uh, angle again. Well, she's well, in New Milford, yeah. Connecticut, and it looks bad there. She looks like she might be up to her knees reporting. Japan looks bad, but New Milford, Connecticut. And why did she feel like she had to be standing in the middle of the water to show us water? Well, they oh, because like, that's I don't that's that's that. that's hard nosed investigative reporting, man. It's I mean, getting, she's out there getting yeah. her fucking hands dirty. You, know? you don't have to yeah. be in the water to show. No, water. you do. You do. Yeah. Why? What do you think? What do you think Geraldo would be if he didn't go into that retard hospital? Yeah. <laughs> that's just like when Cronkite went into Vietnam. Yeah, this is exactly. the same thing. Same thing. This is the same thing. Some fucking dizzy snatch who gets her fucking knees wet. <laughs> Good for you. To come <laughs> wow, dizzy. Fucking show is killing. <laughs> You're killing. Dude. God damn, I love it. I'm breaking out of character for a second. You're killing. Right. Oh, thank you. You're killing. <laughs> New uh, Milford, Connecticut. And I got a huge thumbs up from the guys. 
Uh, for K. We got an Earthquake remix. What? Already? Yeah, these guys now are Now, this good. doesn't include... This isn't like the Tsunami song from years ago. We had nothing Could this to do get with us in trouble? I know, song. but uh, but remember, we weren't even allowed to reference it after a while or play it because we were playing it for a while, like as oh my god, you know they they got fired for doing this. Mm -hmm. This isn't going to get us in trouble, is it? I don't in think Dutch. so. I don't think so. I think we're all right. All right. You never want to hear that siren, by the way. <laughs> It's good. a retard. That was good. Derek made that? Holy shit. Is that guy retarded, by the way? Oh, what do you think? I mean, Derek. Look at his teeth. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, really uh, D-Boy. Hey, D-Boy yeah. is actually one of the, one of the, uh, the stepchildren from Catfish. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, um, yeah. We are talking about Catfish back. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I liked Catfish. Catfish is, um, I didn't watch it because somebody up. told me the end. Uh -oh. And then I found that it wasn't a horror movie. The trailers made it look like they were going to go up there and get murdered. And I yeah, was like, yeah, i got to right? fucking see this. I, I hate it, when they redirect like that to get a bigger yeah. audience. Uh, uh, yeah, it bothers me. All of a sudden they wanted it to be like a Blair Witch Project or something. Yeah. It had nothing to do with the horror. Yeah, yeah, it was it was some <laughs> loony fucking woman being a fucking cock tease on the In the uh, movie, computer. they drive up to a farm in the middle of the night. And you're like, okay, here's where the shit's going down, right? That I scene, think that was all fake. Yeah, so. you think they're going to fucking that Texas Chainsaw fake. Massacre? Yeah. The whole thing, and then they just fucking... Nothing. They just bring out a fat cell. They find some fat voices. cell bitch they that, <laughs> that fucking <laughs> cock tease this guy. <laughs> they bring out a fat <laughs> Mel Blanc. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's the plot of the you movie, dummy. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Yeah, oh, I that's hate great. that. Yeah. Wow, yeah. these waves that are getting bitch. big. Ant. What is that black uh, stuff? That's what water oh, looks like after it goes through uh, everything. And what's the blue things? Floating? What are those blue floating things? They're everywhere. They look know. like uh, storage units, right? Are they storage like <laughs> fucking containers from the ships, maybe? That's probably what they are. That's what they look like. Wow, ride that wave in. Look yeah. at that, dude. See, that's what you never see. That's good footage there. You see the speed of the water yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. It always looks like it's just kind of just easing along. Yeah, they really you don't got see the speed. They got some good coverage on this one. I don't think the tsunami in Hawaii is really making a hit. It doesn't look that bad. Yeah, this, <laughs> which is bumming out the media. There's yeah. fucking cameramen standing out there videotaping yeah. this shit, and that fucking dunce in Connecticut. Is wading through the fucking... Is wading through, through a through fucking, fucking babbling brook. Yeah, it's... Oh, my God, man. How do you look at yourself in the mirror? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm not I'm not feeling the, the Hawaii tsunami thing. No, nah, they know it's not going to be that bad. And then the, the California coast. Tell you that, What's though. going on there? I, I there there'll the be... There, just... there will be hysteria. If it hits Hawaii, there will be hysteria in this country. Because that'll be the first time it hit home, and people will, for, you know, all of a sudden it'll be we were talking more about tragic. That, how it's more no, tragic when it's here. We don't consider Hawaii part of America, really. Is that really? A... I kind of don't it either, had, to be it, honest with you. Huh? I kind of don't either, to yeah, be honest with you. Yeah, it has to hit the West Coast, West it's Coast. Like, it's, it's like an Asian island. Yeah. It's like some kind of Asian island that, <laughs> yeah, we just kind of, 
I consider Alaska more the U.S. than uh, Hawaii. You know, I don't consider. Yeah, I, they're 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 the they're the hot and cold parts of the country that I don't recognize. <laughs> yeah, yeah the hot and cold, <laughs> the extremes of each. And they're like, nah, we don't need those. And I literally have like these myths in my head. Like I think like pot is legal in Hawaii. You know what I mean? I'm like, yeah, weed's legal there, right? Yeah, you just make it up. And then you... I think in Alaska, you they have like sled dogs <laughs> like, everywhere. I, I, there's I just... no cities. There's just sled dogs and. That's I went to is. Alaska once. It fucking blows. First of all, getting there has to just suck an ass. Oh, oh no, dude. It's only a 13-hour trip with two <laughs> flights. No, it's fucking, fucking, it's a snap. <laughs> I say fuck so much. What is wrong uh, with me? Uh, on planes, yeah. they don't uh, have a lot of maintenance on, right? The what'd you say? The planes to Alaska don't have a lot yeah, of maintenance. Yeah, the worst fucking planes. And you know the fucking Alaska wear, Airlines. The wear and tear on, <laughs> yeah. on the just temperatures, steel and, and temperature... Uh, they don't go too well. There's a lot more stress on cold steel. Yeah. Uh, so those planes, uh, I don't know. And then they try to theme I up. I like it. Those are, Even though this it's really is why, cold up at 30,000 feet, so I'm talking on my ass. This is why <laughs> I think they're like fantasy places, because they're the only two parts of the United States that when you fly to it, they theme up the flight a little bit. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, really? Yeah, they're they like, do? we're going like, to like, our going? flight. We have mahi mahi. Oh, really? Yeah. You know <laughs> They really do that. Do you know what I mean? Like they don't do that when you fly to Wisconsin. Right. Yeah, we've got some a cheese plate. Yeah, we've got a cheese plate for everyone. Yeah, the, oh, that's um, great. Have you guys ever gone to Alaska? No, never. The, the people. I'm not just saying this to save face. I mean, I really mean this. The people are cool as shit. They're cool. They'll get you fucking wasted. <laughs> I, I would do shows, and we were doing shows in this. The shows were fun at this place called Chilkoot Charlie's, where it's. It's like this eight-room bar performance thing. So every room that you were in performing, there was a bar, and there were people hanging out getting blasted. Oh, like so, different bars under one roof? Yeah, it was, yeah. It was a, it's a cool place. And uh, when you, I, I would get off stage, and literally, bet I'm not exaggerating, between the stage and getting to the back of the room, I would do four shots, just walking. That's how many, people are just like ready to get you whacked. They fucking appreciate you being there. They're cool. They're real hard-nosed. They're great guys. But... Everything else sucks. Yeah. Everything is triple the price because they have to fucking fly everything in. You yeah. Know, you go to like a fucking, you're like, oh, I'll go get a cheap steak in Alaska. And they're like, it's that'll be 33. You know, go yeah, fuck no... yourself, Outback. When was the last time? It's not even a last time in yeah. Alaska yeah. you see like cattle grazing. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing, you dude. Know, there's just nothing going on. Everything is super, super overpriced, and it just feels like you're in Jersey. It's like, it's <laughs> in the worst part of Jersey, like Route 70 in Cherry Hill. It feels like you're just there, <laughs> but it's cold that, and wet. You're like, oh, this that's blows. why. Hence, hence why you got so many shots on your way. They can only drink. There's probably more Alkies per uh, capita in Alaska. That's what it is. That's what it is. I think. I remember one night telling a guy, he goes, he goes, what are you drinking tonight? And I go, I got to take it easy. I got to be on the radio at 9 a.m. And he goes, yeah, I got to be on the dock at 5, you faggot. And I was like, all right. Like, all right, yeah. good point. I you got a good point. A I'll drink. I will drink. I'm a faggot. They're animals. Yeah, a lot of Jaeger up there. It's a fun time, man. Yeah. Well, no, it's not. It's just, it just sucks. It sucks. You just you, get you're confused. It. You, just you get kind of want to go back, don't you, Joe? It's They're probably good, good when you're drunk. Did you ever go to Hawaii? I've never uh, been to Hawaii. No, I've been there either. See? I've never been there. Uh, we know why we don't consider it I heard it kind of stinks. Like, literally? There's a no, smell? No, I just heard it's like... I heard, like, <laughs> it really is like Hawaii Five O, Like, all seedy and creepy and shit. Oh, there's so, a lot of seedy areas. I know that. Have you been there? No? Uh, well, somebody in our uh, family went. And, yeah, it's, it's pretty damn seedy when you get away from the resorts. Places yeah. Like, yeah, stay in well, the resort. You, you stay at these amazing resorts, and That's you don't have to worry I about do. it. Why would but anyone leave the resort? For a while, you're, you're, it's a different situation. I hate Where's when you? people leave the resort when they go anywhere. Well, who's going to fucking, like, these little islands in the Caribbean, and then they go, oh, I want to do this. It's like, oh, great. See ya. I love when people leave the resort, because it means either, A, a great news story, or, yes. B, an awesome horror movie's coming out soon <laughs> right, called, dude, that no. says, based on a true story at the <laughs> Based on a true story. <laughs> like, anybody now that even goes to, like, Acapulco or anywhere in Mexico with the cartels fucking lopping uh, heads yeah. off and, 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 and throwing bags full of heads at resort areas. Yeah. Th that, to me, is it, you got to be a nut to fucking leave the, right, the compound. you got to see some ruins. Did you, you check ruins. out the ruins? Ruins? Yeah. I want to see the inside of a fucking tiki bar. I want to see a fucking <laughs> exactly. one of those bars with the, the fucking the twirly fan above you that's just like big le palm leaves. And you sit at a bar made out of fucking thatched shit. Mm -hmm. You just I, drink umbrella drinks. I, yeah, exactly. Love that. I, I dodged such a bullet when I was in China. 
that I learned my lesson China. of like China. fucking China. around. You world You've been traveler? around the world. Jesus, Joe. Oh, all around the world. Alaska, China. How do you get to China? <laughs> San Antonio. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you doing in China? Yeah, give us the backstory. I went man. out there to do comedy shows a few years back. And, How'd that uh, work? Well, there's a lot of expats there, so you just, it's all, oh, yeah? it's all transplants, so it's fine. Um, I wish I knew what Patriots player from long ago, I would have brought that up. That's I don't. hilarious. Expats. It would have been wasted on me. And then if I was fun, and I knew a player that was on the Patriots for a while, but I don't. It's uh, it's so funny, too, because you go over there, and there's all these guys there that, that, le you know, that left the States or Canada to go over there to do computer work or whatever. Uh. These little entrepreneur guys. They look like fucking Rick Moranis. <laughs> they literally look like Rick Just Moranis and Ghostbusters, Jeez. and they have these six foot two fucking gorgeous Asian. Wow. They, they They're love the catch. white American men over there. Whoa. They, I, they might love black American men, too. I don't know. But like I'm, I know for a fact they love white American men. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so I was in China, and we, went, we were in uh, 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 Shanghai for a few days. And Shanghai is very Western, whatever kind of city. It just looks like San Francisco. You're like, whatever, dude. It's pretty paint by numbers. And then we left Shanghai, and we went to Beijing. And Beijing looks like... China. That's China. It's like dirt roads and the yeah. fucking houses with the fucking weird tops. The you know weird I mean? fucking, yeah. yeah. I'm dumb and roofs. I don't know what any words are for that anything. <laughs> pagoda, the pagoda roof. Yeah, there it's you like go. It's like the pagoda roof. The, yeah, the Abe pagoda roof. Not the pagoda, the pagoda, but okay. Yeah, and they're selling... <laughs> that's, the houses. that's why I'm dumb, because instead of I going, that. is that what it's called, and taking the word in, I have to make a stupid joke about Abe pagoda. I don't pagoda. even know, because I don't so think that's the name of it. I'm just a, saying it looks like the roofs that are on top of pagoda. The houses just look like their language. Look at that place that Danny pulled up. That's a fucking safe way. Everything <laughs> looks like that in China. Really? Everything yeah. looks like that. Yeah. Why, why spend so much time making the roof look like that? Well, when I was first went out to Southern... <laughs> when I first, why would you do that? When I first went a out to California... simple design would work just fine. What a, what a waste your beautiful architecture is. <laughs> when I first went out to California, every building, like, I go to a Vons, and it's like, why does the Vons have to look like the Alamo? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. The Southwestern thing, everything look. has a roof on it, like a mission. Look oh, yeah. That. Why yeah, would you do that. Everything looks like they're mashing beans in it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Everything's like a Taco Bell. They're, yeah, that house looks like one of their vowels. <laughs> yeah, it's so like this is variety. yeah, this is the kind of shit you see in Beijing. They serve literally scorpions. Like if you like street vendors, they fried mm, scorpions. It's fu it's fucking crazy, right? That's good. It's pretty cool. So <laughs> I'm there for one night to do the show. We do the show, me and the other comic, and uh, we split. And we kind of end up going our separate ways. And uh, I'm fucking drunk. And oh, I'm drunk American. And I'm and fucking horny, dude. China. Yeah, I'm really horny. So I'm in front of my hotel smoking a cigarette. These fucking girls come up to me. You're in front of your hotel in Beijing smoking a cigarette. You probably gave a signal to get someone killed. Yeah, I know. You exactly. stood up front, <laughs> lit your cigarette. It's like, that is the signal, comrade. The American yeah. has just lit his cigarette. <laughs> yeah, Someone's exactly. got their yeah, head chopped the way, off 100 miles yeah, away. Yeah. yeah. Sm smoking in China, the penalty is uh, removal of a finger. <laughs> it's not exactly lenient over there, right? So... So, but you get thrown in jail there for looking at porn. If you get caught wow. selling or purchasing or in possession of porn, you get thrown in jail. That's fucking Just fuck say I'm an American. It's okay. Yeah, no, then yeah, they throw you works. in the really bad jail. Yeah, then they course. throw you in the fucking rapiest <laughs> fucking jail they have. Rapey rape so, institution of rape. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is called uh, rape penitentiary. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, uh, so I'm in front of my hotel. These two girls pull, ride up to me on bicycles. Oh, it's like Rambo. Yeah, and they go, or no, one's walking and one's on a bike. And they go, they go, ah, ah, you American? I go, yeah, yeah. And they go, they go, you come with us, women, women massage. You know what I'm oh, like? Oh, you're thinking, hey, I could use a massage before I find a girl to fuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> before I have to try to have personality. Yes. <laughs> I would just go pay for it. <laughs> Might as well get relaxed first. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> so, uh, so I go, okay. And they go, cheap, cheap. And I'm like, all right. Oh. So they go, just they tell me to follow them, dude. Dude, I followed these girls. Literally, guys, I had to walk two miles behind these girls. What an idiot. It was two miles. What is it going to And the take whole time I keep being like. shady going on. Well, yeah. The whole time I'm going, where is this place? Didn't you have a hotel room? 
Yeah, but they were taking me to the ha- to the whorehouse, basically, right? Oh. So I go, where's the hotel room? Or I keep going, where's the place? Where's the place? And they kept going, very close, next next corner. And they, and they kept saying that. Oh, boy, if you that were, doesn't sound like a setup. You were so horny, you blew off reasoning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In your own head. Of course. Of yep. course. Yep. Two miles. <laughs> of course. This fucking thing. Dude, nothing makes rationale go but out the window But what was going on like in your, your head? Because most people would be like, all right, this doesn't seem right. It never crossed my never. mind that I might be getting set up for something. I was just going, yeah. these lying cunts, they keep telling me it's close, and they're just trying to get and me to keep walking. it's not close. I have to walk further before I, I get laid. I swear to God, that's all that was going through my head. I, I never even thought I'm going to get robbed. I was yeah. just like, Ugh. So I get to this place, and, you know, here's the bust of the story. It ends up being it ends up being safe. It's totally fine. They have these karaoke things there where you, what you do is you go into a room, and you you it's ten bucks to go into the room, and then it's twenty bucks for a drink, and then you pay for a couple girls, and they come in, they hang out with you, but you don't realize they're charging you for all this shit. Oh, they, they, no. they just go, oh, you go in the room, blah, 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 and you go in, you're like, this is fucking great. They're sending chicks in, oh, they're sending but... booze in. You don't gotta pay for anything. What a fucking country! And then they hit you with the bill, and this is how <laughs> how incredibly safe it was where I was. No robbery, nothing. When I realized I didn't have enough money to pay for the fucking eight whores that I ordered oh, and all the drinks, I went to the guy and I was like, I don't have enough money for this. Can I just have my money back that I gave you already? Can I just go? And the guy gave me my money back and let me leave. Wait, what? <laughs> Can you believe that shit? What the fuck is that about? He's like, ah. He just had this attitude of like, God damn it. All right, here, take your fucking money There's back. There's probably some rule that if they don't, it's fucking very... Yeah, you know, they, then they get the death penalty or something. It was, it was so the something. opposite of what should have happened. Yeah, you should have gotten your ass handed to you. Would have me be me getting fingered in a room somewhere? Yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? While while some fucking Asian like d d d d d d d fucking club music was yeah. playing in the background. <laughs> the, uh, that's what should have happened, and it didn't. And uh, I was like, I dodged. It was only two weeks after that I realized the fucking bullet that I dodged. And I was yeah. like. I Jesus, will. That's scary. You're gonna end up locked up abroad on that show. Locked up abroad. You ever see that show? Oh yeah, where they lock, where they lock guys up overseas. You realize like they should show that in American prisons all the time, so they realize, wow, we really have it good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we really we have got, it. Good. We got breaking news. Oh? What's that? Gallagher. Uh, Gallagher collapsed on stage. Uh oh. He used he- to talk about his ticker on our show. So. Oh boy. And also, really fast, uh, Ant. Uh, Captain Ned, helping you out, Aunt New Hampshire. In the future, always go with Steve Grogan. Big laughs. Steve Grogan? Who's that for Ex-pat. the Pats? Oh, oh, oh. He's Ex-pat. just trying to help you for the next All time. All right, next time someone says just, expat, I'll say Steve Grogan. Just go Steve Grogan. Big laughs, he says. Oh, uh, yeah. It's and a bunch and of before we get into the Gallagher oh, thing, I, there? I, I do want it. to try my uh, Chinese roof, uh, Chinese language joke one more time before 10 o'clock. Okay. Because I think it will get a laugh. Okay. <laughs> Uh, do we have a clip of Gallagher I, I swung uh, collapsing? twice and missed horribly. What was the... Ch- you don't want to know. I'm, I'm making fun of myself. No, I, I had confidence in something that I shouldn't have had confidence in. I want to hear it. I, I said it twice. So you <laughs> did hear it, <laughs> is what I'm saying. I think we laughed at it, though. Not we? really. It's okay. I want to see this TMZ clip. Yeah, here it is. So, uh, breaking news. TMZ the, uh, Gallagher? Has Gallagher yeah, collapsing Gallagher. on stage. Uh, <laughs> in the middle of smashing things, too. Uh-oh. He's bending over, bending over. He he, to go, he, he's picking something else up. He doesn't look good. He's got his sledge. And the rocket red <laughs> He's going to sledge on and up, and he's down. Gallagher's down. Yeah, he's down. He didn't look good as he was picking up the no, whatever no, he was no. about to he looked like he was trying And then to another get idiot that doesn't know to fucking focus a camera when real shit's going down. Oh, shit. Yeah, everyone's running on stage. And they're going to get Gallagher. Is he okay? What do you think? Am I going to get a refund? It's hilarious. Sorry it's so hard for us to lift you up, but we're covered in pudding. Yeah. And he keeps slipping off of us. EMTs are <laughs> slipping all over the place. Look at this guy. Can't keep the camera there. This guy What's wrong with this yeah, guy? keep pointing into the dark room instead of the illuminated stage. Thank God, though, fucking some asshole. idiot thought it would be good to fucking video Gallagher. <laughs> he's, he's got Gallagher like, yeah, I'm gonna just 
Thank this God, is great stuff. the last man that gives a shit had his camera out and ready for this. Uh, wow. All right. What are they saying uh, happened? I don't think you ever want to die with watermelon on Did your face. Did he die? I'm no. just saying. I don't know. What's He's the story? He's dead. What does it say? Anything? Is there any story? No one knows anything yet. The hospital isn't releasing anything yet. Oh, Doesn't look good, though, man. He used to talk about his ticker on our show. He has a bad ticker. What's uh? So he, maybe he shouldn't be smashing things at 67 years old. Yeah, lifting yeah. a hammer up over a fucking exactly. mallet. Yeah. A rep for Gallagher tells TMZ he is awake this morning, feeling weak, but his spirits are good. They don't his spirits are never good. <laughs> I heard he's We've talked to him a few fucking times. Fucking miserable, man. He's in, he's in Minnesota doing that show. Oh, Jesus. And, and, uh, no wonder he collapsed. The man worked his whole life, and he's in Minnesota. A you know, number of, <laughs> oh, God, I'm sick. I love this. A number of witnesses <laughs> said that Gallagher was performing his famous sledge matic routine, where Gallagher smashes watermelons with a sledge hammer when he fell backwards onto the stage. <laughs> Gallagher was doing his famous heart gives out routine. <laughs> his famous. <laughs> it is reported that his eyes were closed and he was visibly shaking. There were a few doctors in the audience. I don't want to go to a doctor that didn't that's, do anything that's at a Gallagher show anyway. <laughs> you think, oh, a wacky doctor. Oh, yeah. You think yeah. the doctors could keep him alive enough to have him smash his own heart on stage? Oh, uh, that's oh, fucking God. great. How great would that be? Uh, oh. How great would that be, man? I would. Oh, I'd love it. I love it. Joe, what are you, what are you promoting? Wait. We're going to break. Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, did I interrupt something? If I did, I apologize. No, no, no. Okay, I'm just, I just, I'm obsessed with doing He's that. involved with the uh, uh, South by Southwest, I hear. Yeah, I'm going to be at yes. South by Southwest doing uh, the comedy shows on the 18th and 19th at Esther's Follies in Austin, Texas. And I'm headlining a show earlier at 8 p.m. on Saturday, March 19th at the New Movement Theater. Um, next Saturday. So please come out to that. New Movement's a cool, cool space, and uh, I really want to make that a great show. So come out, please. Also, because I don't think it affects your plug, uh, Patrice O'Neill at Caroline's this weekend. Oh, shit, he is? Yeah, I he is. In and, and I so think yeah. you might have a chance still to get tickets, which I highly recommend. Well, well I'm a comic. I could probably just get in. No, I'm kidding. I know that was <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, tickets for Patrice at Caroline's for the rest of the weekend. And if this is... Uh, he started last night, right? Yeah. Well, oh, if this is plug time, uh, you know Joe Curry? Yeah, Plank sure. foot. He's going to be at the Brokerage Comedy Club there in Belmore uh, this Friday and Saturday, I guess tonight and tomorrow. Mm. So uh, Joe Curry at the Brokerage Comedy Club in Belmore. Very yeah, good. My, my pal. All right, we're going to wrap up the show next. By the way, I don't know if we're going to get to it, but uh, there is... There is Roland Pizza Party audio, so maybe... maybe I'd like to hear a little of that. You want to try to a get a little of, of that in? Yeah. And the clips we don't play, I'm sure they'll play in the 10 o'clock hour Yo. as we uh, develop that 10 o'clock hour finally. Oh, of course. So far, so good. People are definitely digging it. Yes, All right, uh, yeah, this. Coming soon to the Apollo Theater. That's right, the one in Harlem. It's Racist Gallagher. It's not your birthday. It's your birthday, and you're not out of breath. You're out of breath. <laughs> That's true. Oh, oh, if I pick on you guys, it's illegal. The mustachioed comedian known for smashing watermelons with a big hammer is now smashing the civil rights movement back to 1955. Without preconceived ideas of what like you can't do comedy. You can't do it without prejudice. His cutting edge new brand of comedy will have you in stitches. Or have him in stitches after you shove that stupid wooden mallet up his bony white ass. Why don't fart because they don't get assholes until they get married <laughs> it's racist gallagher live <laughs> i'm just being cutting edge i use these across the country i know what's funny coming soon to the apollo theater one night only because quite frankly we don't think there's going to be a second night i guess that's what black people do <laughs> Joe DeRosa in studio, yeah. killing yeah, for us. Uh, Joe, what are you on uh, the Twitter? Because I know I follow you, but I don't. I don't know if it's as easy as Joe DeRosa. Is it? It's, it's Joe DeRosa comedy. Comedy, unfortunately, yeah. Who's got yeah. Joe DeRosa? 
I don't know, to be honest with you. Joe DeRosa. Was taken. Yeah. I would think. Did yeah. you ask him nicely? Guy to named Joe DeRosa. Car salesman. <laughs> Did you ask him nicely? You know, everything I have says Joe DeRosa comedy. That's my website. I, so I don't care. DeRosa kinda... Ford, come down. I'll give you $5,000 if you... <laughs> The Rosa Ford. It uh, it all it all links up. It all links up. Joe DeRosa comedy though. He's a good yeah. one to follow on Twitter as long as he's not plugging. You're starting to do stuff with your Twitter. I know. Oh yeah. Because yeah, Anthony bitched yeah. at you last time. I had to reprimand him a little bit. Oh yeah, Anthony <laughs> bitched, and then I and then I got yeah. some uh, annoying messages. Of I know. Course. Yeah, yeah, but you're a good you're a good that. one to follow. Yes. Here's the you thing. You got some shit in your head. That Here's the thing you like with getting out with uh, with Twitter for me. It's like like I don't post something just to post it right when i think of something funny i was very proud of this one the other day i, I tweeted uh uh breaking breaking celebrity news uh emilio estevez's friendster posts will be sponsored by fast food chain whataburger i thought that was very funny <laughs> but i can't like that's twitter funny you know what i mean it it's like um, <laughs> it's a lot of who gives a shit things in there yeah yeah with uh, emilio yeah but anyway <laughs> the, I, 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 I'm not going to sit and try to write shit like that. If I think of it, I'll post it. And then when I have a gig, I post the the gig. Yeah. But but you know, f God for fucking bid. You don't. God, why am I saying I say fuck so much? Fuck. God forbid you don't tweet four jokes in a row before you plug again. Yeah. Because yeah. these guys, some one guy uh, messaged me on there. He goes. He goes, thinking I might have to stop following you. Don't know. You seem to only plug your dates. Yeah, st oh. go fuck yourself and stop following me. I don't care. Then just stop. Yeah, just stop following. But that being said, please listen to Opie and follow me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Joe DeRosa comedy is a good one. I, 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 I tuned out. I, I was just trying to plug your fucking Twitter. Sit back ah, down. come on. Sit man. down. You're making everyone nervous. I, I gotta, I gotta stand for a second. My back hurts a little bit. Why <laughs> does your back? Hurt. You're too young from for your sitting. back hurting. I'm, I'm old in here. <laughs> <laughs> I love Joe. I love you, man. I love you. I missed you guys. I, I actually couldn't uh, sleep a little bit last night because I was excited oh, to see you guys. Me too. I couldn't sleep either. <laughs> <laughs> I was all like, ooh, Joe DeRosa. I was <laughs> <laughs> like, what an asshole. Can we talk more? Are we allowed to talk more about the try to pick up chicks yes, cold I, thing? Yes, we, we were talking about this during the break uh, and laughing our asses off because it's just, uh, we, we've entered a new phase in, in relationships. It's not really new or just fucking, not even relationships, uh, where you don't really have to do the old school pickup anymore in the bars. Uh, you, you, this is usually the way it goes. You talk to somebody off, whatever. If you start getting nude pictures, you pretty much know fucking will happen. Right. There will be fucking. Right. Uh, this is how guys and girls meet and fuck in this day and age. Right. Uh, old school, you had to talk to people, meet them in a bar or some other atmosphere. For me, it was usually a bar because that's where I was. Mm -hmm. uh, and me and Joe were talking about the cold walk up. Where you had to, you were with your friends, you're mm. all looking to get laid, you see a gaggle of girls at the bar, and one of your friends goes, you know, hey, there's some girls over there, why don't we go up and talk? And, and yeah. Joe just, Joe had the greatest answer, because he just turned to his friend and goes, how? <laughs> how? <laughs> like, how do you yeah. walk up and just start a conversation cold? I literally have no idea how to do it. I don't either. I can do it, I, I can do it sometimes at a party, or in a... Right, right, party is different. You have more I have time. to be drunk. I there's, have to be drunk. To yeah, you yeah, have to be drunk, right. first of all. And at a party, there's more people talking, so you can almost inject yourself into a conversation where there's girls and another guy, and they could hear you, or with a friend that you were with, and they could hear you talking and realize mm. that you're, you know, behind this mm. horrid physique, mm. there's really someone interesting and fun that no. you might want to sympathy but, fuck. No, there's not that either. <laughs> <laughs> it's all horrid. At a party, it's all bad. <laughs> At a party, it's easier too because you already have something in common. You all kind of got You're invited at to the, the same party. place, so there's but a, a bar common is definitely really strange. It's tough, but you said you said that you didn't have you you had no problem back in the day. You just fucking cruised on the face. Uh, girls walked up to me. Oh, like, what? I didn't want to say that on the air because now people are gonna be like, "What a fucking nah. dude!" Please, <laughs> you got a lot of tail. That's a. How is that a bad thing? Look, man, I know the face is starting to sag and the hair is starting <laughs> to fall out a little bit, but I had I had a good run. 
I had a great run. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't doubt I, it. I had a great run. I didn't really walk up to, didn't have to walk up to many girls. I don't doubt it. And you said something interesting about, so, I can't remember I who did? said that it. That would be the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Let me document it. <laughs> what did I say? You said something about when we were coming back from break about you don't go for the hot one. Oh, something. I was saying no, that. Answer. Oh, and, what did you say? Yeah, I was going. And then when you're in a bar and and you're trying to do that cold walk up talk to the girls at the bar, right? You would you don't pick the hottest one up there because no. you don't want you know your average of getting it is going to be yeah. horrible. So you yeah. go for the skankier one or the the uglier one or the fatter one. Because that's what you feel you might be able to get. You know, it's so uh, funny. Uh, uh, can I add to that? Yeah. The hot one is always protected by uh, the chubby, uglier one. Well, yeah, yeah. So, man, you really had to work. So you, you start on the edge. Like Dan's saying, you try to move your way into the into oh, I the never thought of moving my way. Where up. the hotness was. Yeah, you got to crawl before you walk. Because even the, <laughs> the hot broad always knew, too, that, all right, I got to be in the, I got to be, like, yeah. protected by my ugly friends. That's what, let's, let's try to coin a phrase right here. From now on, when you see a hot chick with fat girls, the fat girls should be called training wheels. <laughs> <laughs> hot before, with training wheels. Yeah. yeah. Got the training wheels on. Yeah. Fuck. The, uh, she, uh, what's it called? They, that's, you know, what's so funny is, is that approach of like not talking to the hot chick, but to, in that book, the game, yeah. that's like a, that's like a technique to fuck the hot girl. And it's like, no, really? we just stink and have no, no self-esteem. We, there's no self-esteem to walk up to the hot girl. I'm just trying to fuck the fat girl. Yeah. Cause it's, it that's seems good. easy. I think it'd be easy. <laughs> uh, the, the, the guys that are ripped and shit aren't going after the fat girl. So, They're going after the hot one. Why am I? I'm like a fucking, I'm like a. A goddamn uh, hyena on the outskirts of the pride feeding. Yeah. I'm not uh. looking for. I'm not looking for a nice hunk of fucking flank meat. Just give me an ankle. Are you? Oh, I'm so satisfied oh, with the fucking with the snout of the fucking water buffalo. Yeah. That attitude. Right, so has Facebook uh, made it easier, huh? Uh, yeah, oh. but you got to be careful, man. There's a lot of fucking, you know, you got to question a girl. There's a lot of catfishes out there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Getting back to that movie. Yeah, you got to you got to be careful because you know you got to you got to wonder about a girl let you break off in her after a couple of emails. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Jesus. Ah, yeah, fuck yeah. It. come on. Hey, you by know? The, fuck it. By the way, Joe, do you know who has Joe DeRosa tragedy? <laughs> oh, true. No, I should get that one too, though. Well, now it's too late because uh, I had to mention it on the air. I'm uh, sorry. You're gonna have to buy that off somebody now. What? Um, did you ever? Did you ever go for the fat girl? Oh, yeah. And no, no, no. But but did you ever go for the fat girl and then get dissed? And then you're so angry because oh. you're working beneath your standard, and you just uh, want to be like you fucking that's a really moose. Good question. I don't remember. <laughs> I really don't have a story. I'm not gonna try to make. Uh, I I I decided... and get dissed by a fat girl. Yeah, like, you ever just go for the girl that you... It happened to me the other... It's not a funny story. It just it happened to me the other night. I met these girls from Switzerland, and this chick wasn't hot, but she was the a best of the three. not hot girl from Switzerland? Wow. Yeah, she was the... Exactly. An they anomaly. really had to dig deep. I think they yeah. got kicked out of Switzerland. <laughs> None of them were hot, but she was the best of the three. Yeah. And they were talking to us in this bar, and I, I started talking about Mike Patton and Faith No More. With the girl, and she was freaking out. She, oh, they are my favorite band. They are uh, my favorite band. And we're t and I'm like fucking buying her drinks and fucking greasing her up and everything. And then I go, you want to go? You want to go hang out and listen to fucking Faith No More and hang uh, and get have a few drinks? Yeah. And she goes, No, I no, I no, I am sorry. No, I just like to talk about it. I don't. Ah, uh, fuck you, you fat cunt. Yeah, and you want to be like you look like fucking Skullnick from Revenge of the Nerds. I'll <laughs> punch you in your face right now. <laughs> Basically, you want to say you're too fat to have morals. Yeah. <laughs> you're, that fat choked out your morals a long time oh, ago. Really? How He's, dare you have morals? Did you ever look in a mirror? Yeah. What I, are you holding out for besides a double cheeseburger? Only hot girls should have morals. I, I, oh yeah, yeah. It bugs me, man. I, I have a, I have a, uh, I have a beer goggle story. I've, I haven't told uh, in a while, but when I was 18. And I was a freshman at Geneseo. I certainly could not handle my fucking booze. Right. And I went to one of these rats. What did they were called uh, the Rathskeller. The Rathskeller. And I got fucking wasted with like kind of my new floor mates. F horrendously wasted. Started making out with this girl. And I didn't understand why everyone was just dead staring at me. Like, what the, you know what I mean? I'm like, what's the big deal? Everyone's in college making out all over the fucking place. But they were really staring at me. 
And a long story short, I bring her back to my dorm room when the beer goggles started wearing off to realize this girl was as big as that fucking door. And at the time, I did <laughs> oh, not know. Shit! Wow! You I had no idea. I really. As... My memory is such that I remember. I thought I was making out with the hottest girl in the rat scale. Oh, that's and, great. And the reason they were all looking at me is like the, it, it looked completely ridiculous because oh. I couldn't even. I guess I couldn't even get my arms around her. That is But great. I didn't even know until I brought her back to the dorm when, you know, after the pizza you get on the way home and this and that and realize, holy shit, uh, what the fuck am I doing? And a young, handsome 18-year-old Opie, she was getting the fucking catch of a lifetime. <laughs> like, what the She fuck? was sitting there going, my game is solid. <laughs> she, I uh, still fucked her! Yeah, of course. Uh, I, dude, I don't even remember how it ended. Here's one. <laughs> so long ago. Here's but. one, dude. I was, same, very similar story. I, uh, when I was in high school... I was a senior in high school, and there was a college in my hometown called Ursinus College, and my best friend that I grew up with went there. So I got, in 12th grade, I got to just walk over to the college and just hang out. Great. Easy pickings. Yeah, it was great. So I, it was my first experiences with really drinking and getting smashed and shit, and we got fucking tanked one night. I went to this party. I'm making out with this girl against the wall, and I feel like the king shit. She's hot. She's in college. I'm still in high school, whatever. My friends are coming up to me and they're going, dude, dude, let's go now. And I'm yelling at them, stop fucking cock blocking me, man. Let me fucking do oh, this. Shit. Dude, Joe, we got to go. Fuck you, dude. Right, I'm screaming. I end up getting, oh, no. I'm so drunk. I go outside, I start puking. Now we got to go home because I'm sick. Yeah, right. We go back to the dorm. And the next day we wake up and I go, hey, that chick, I didn't get her number. And they go, dude, she is a fucking mess. Monster. Why do you think we were trying? And I go, no, she was hot. And they go, dude, she's a disgrace. A she's disgrace. not hot, dude. And they, dude, I'm no bullshit. I used to hang out with them all the time at the college for a month. They got to hold it over my head and go, dude, just wait, man. We're going to see her and we're going to point her out to oh, you. Oh, man. And you're going to see what you, dude, my heart would fucking race every time we walked around the campus. You didn't want to see her. Yeah, I was scared. And then I finally saw her. And, you know. I was like, eh, how the fuck that? Uh, you, know you, know still fuck that. <laughs> you guys suck as I still uh, fuck You know what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, I, I went on a, uh, I went on a date with some fatty, and I, I've never, never been with a fatty in my life. What never. time period? This is going back uh, maybe a year. Oh wow, maybe a year. Wow. You were never with a fatty till a year ago. And uh, good for you. Yeah, never with a fatty because I don't. I'm not really into fatties. You know, just not. I have guys that are fine. Really, what whatever. is it? The and disgusting has, weight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that, it's that sh misshapen fucking. It's that hot body that's been blown up in an air pump that I, I I'm not really into. But if they if they have youth on their side, it's not that bad. Well, that's I just like it. chubby. Fat is a different story. Fat's fat. Yeah. You know? This is this wasn't. This is kind of. Fat. She wasn't Yo. obese, fucking crazy fat. Speaking of fat, who is this? God, I hope the radio's on out there. Oh, They're bringing um, a tour through. Oh Christ! This, yeah. Oh, the radio's on. <laughs> it was, uh, oh. I bet. Oh, I was gonna say something nice. Why is Why is the radio on out there? It's really on out there. Yes, it shouldn't be. Can you guys? Joe, I can't believe you said that. Jesus, Joe. I would. Look, I didn't say it. She's <laughs> laughing. Look at her trying to give this oh. tour. Look at this girl. She's uh, cute. Hi. This girl's cute right here. I like the tour guide. I, oh, they're just turning You're having away. an attitude, great. really? Open that fucking this door. <laughs> You're going to have a little attitude? I'll oh find something God. wrong with you. Oh, my God. Look Hi. at that guy. This guy's a magician. No. <laughs> <laughs> you just gave us the look of death. Is the radio really on out there? It has to is. be. Yeah, they had to be because I said, I said something and the girl looked yeah, over. Yeah, they turned around. They, like, got her a, a they take. turned away and looked and stuff and yeah, whatever. Whatever. What, what, oh, what are they bringing right. towards? So wait, yeah. I'm sorry. What, what was it? Oh, so, the fat girl. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So what happened? As a fat uh, girl, and I decided. I figured, all right, you know, I'll, th I'll throw this chick a bone. Fucking take her out. You know, take her out to dinner and take shit her like out. That. Take her out to dinner. Went out to dinner, and uh, you know, I, I'm not even going to make the dinner jokes with the fat girl. <laughs> and, and, and I had to drive pretty far to pick her up. And then take her to dinner. Did you know she was fat? I, I tapped yeah, out for yeah, a Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I knew she was, was fat. Was there some, uh, like, there wasn't Facebook voodoo going no, on? No, 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 nothingness. I knew so who this was. How fat was she? I just thought it was going to be, here's, yeah. here's what I, I just thought it was going to be an easy fucking bedding. Thing. An easy one to bed. I, it wouldn't have been any work. It's just pretty quick and easy. How big? Um, 
you'd look and go, well, yeah, that's ugh. really. Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah, you'd all right. Look and go, all right, that chick's fat. <laughs> <laughs> there would be no question. Yeah, no question. Yeah, no question. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah pretty, embar- that. pretty embarrassing. <laughs> okay. Pretty embarrassing. Like, did you take her where you knew no family members or friends would ever be? I went to a restaurant that I never went to and have never gone back to. <laughs> I, I, I planned this out where I, it was like playing anyone I know Pac-Man, where I was just avoiding every uh, familiar yeah, place. And then uh, it's like, okay, back to my house. Great. Whatever. Go back to my house. A few drinks. The, and then, like... All, I had to sit through all of the fucking just babbly crap out of this girl about uh, and then actually d- drinking and, and c- some crying went on. The girl's like, eh, and this happened and that. Oh, I'm like, oh, oh boy, God. whatever. Now all I now all I'm thinking is, is I have to fuck. Like yeah, I, you have to. I put my time in. I yeah. put my fucking time in. So, uh. So it's like, you know, well, it's getting uh, getting pretty late. Want to go to bed? Okay. Up the stairs, walking toward the bedroom like, yeah, this will work, whatever. At least I'll get something out of this. She pulls a fucking, you ever see when an F-18 peels off from his wingman? <laughs> Where it's like, ooh, yeah. <laughs> we're walking. She peels off into an, uh, one of the spare rooms, into one of the spare bedrooms. As we're walking well, towards... What did you say? I yeah. Went, I went, hey, well, where are you going? She goes, oh, I'm going to bed. <laughs> and then I wasn't even like... I wasn't even going to fucking argue the point. I just knew I put in a whole night of fucking work for nothing, and you're fat, and you're not... You're <laughs> fat, and you're fucking doing this? <laughs> like, I can understand a hot fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Danny puts up the Blue Angels. <laughs> That's what happened. Which Blue Angel was she? Oh, the one, yeah, the one that immediately yeah. fucking makes that... That right hand, the 90 degree banking turn. Yeah, she's a blue angel that can't get the plane off the ground. <laughs> yeah, she's a refuel. Yeah, there she goes. And I'm like, hey, wait, 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 wait. I so yeah, so that was that. And then the the morning comes around. Oh. Now I'm just I'm fucking I'm laying in bed and I'm just fucking with the remote going fucking fat bitch. I'm fucking pissed. I'm watching TV, and then morning rolls around. I wake up now. I'm kind of fucking hungover and shit. And I get I get up and she already woke up from her fucking spare room little nap. Great, I'm glad you enjoyed the fucking nice comfortable guest room bed yeah. in my house. What is this, and now a I got to drive breakfast? her home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bed and breakfast. You got to drive her home. Yeah, now I got to yeah, drive her home. Why would you just pay for a cab at that point? Because it was so far. I should have. What, what's what's two hundred bucks to a guy like you're, you? You're what right, do you give you're a right. shit? I, you're right. It yeah. would have been worth it. How far from your house? Probably fifty miles. Oh Jesus! But I did it in probably. 25 minutes. I 50 drove, miles? I drove so fast and so recklessly. I was I was weaving in and out of the HOV lane and back out of it and just like a maniac. 90 miles an hour just because I wanted her out of my existence as Where'd quickly as possible. Where'd you meet her? It was a friend of a friend situation. Those are never good. And I heard from the friend of the friend that that this was pretty much going to be like a sure thing. That's the only reason I pursued it. I'm like, you know what? Sure thing, whatever. So what did you do wrong? What did I do wrong? Think it was a sure thing. But the friend says it's a sure thing. They, uh, would, have, they would have that knowledge. Uh, I know, but then the friend even afterwards said, no, I think you would have had to put in just a little more time. I'm like, time? I'm not putting in time for a fat girl. <laughs> I put in time for a fucking hot girl, not a fat girl. I've been burned before with my fucking stupid friends going... Oh, uh, dude, it's, it's you're in. You're in. Yeah. Am I? Yeah. Am I in? Married guy that oh. just gets his hopes up that he's going to live vicariously through me? No, I'm not in. Yeah, yeah. No, because you don't know what it's like to try to close anymore. Just close the deal. That that drives me fucking nuts, man. And then also, here's the thing, dude. That could have just been her shitty self esteem. You might have just gone. What are you doing? You sleep in the bed with me, and she probably would have went, okay. Oh, uh, you think? Yeah, she might have, man. That just might have been her feel- self esteem. I wasn't feeling that. I, 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 I have a good instinct for something like that. I, I was everything, body language wise, fat body language wise, I wasn't seeing. He was saying, I'm hungry. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm hungry. I wasn't seeing that. Did you cry yourself to sleep? 
No, I fucking gripped my teeth and You're I was mad, changing right? the channel. I was changing the channel by thrusting my arm with the remote at the TV <laughs> while I pushed the button. Like, God, what's on the fucking television? Like, ah. Uh. Like, I was just mad. And I'm looking at the wall that's separating the rooms and going, yeah, I hope you're fucking sleeping, you fucking bitch. <laughs> like, I was just mad. I was that's, mad. That's infuriating, man. You know what? If, you know what makes me madder than anything with a chick when it comes to shit like this? Is when you're in bed with them and you go to make that first move. You know, because sometimes it doesn't happen oh until you're in God, bed. Oh, my God, in bed. And then they go, and then they go like this. They go, you know, it's just, I went through this, I'm just, that period of my life is just behind me. And I just recently realized, like, I just can't f have sex with random. Do you know really? where you are? Can you give your fucking skankiness another day, please? <laughs> One lousy day. Yeah. Yeah. Call really? it off after tonight right. that yeah. you're in fucking bed. Oh, my God. That's like going to a bar and One your last... buddy's like, you know what? I just quit drinking. Then quit tomorrow, <laughs> asshole. One last what the hell. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. We got we to gotta move on. It's time to begin what we call the weekend. Yes. Yes. Boy. That's right. I'll be right home. I'll be right home. You're no fatty. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Joe DeRosa, what, what are we promoting? Uh, I am at the New Movement Theater uh, on Saturday, March 19th, 8 p.m., Austin, Texas. Please come out and see it. It's on Rosewood Avenue, and I'm also doing two shows on the 18th and 19th uh, uh, for South by Southwest at Esther's Follies. Please, please, please come out. And Joe DeRosa uh, Comedy on Twitter. Yes. 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 Hey, and it was such a busy day, we didn't get to the audio from Roland's Pizza Party. So in the oh, 10 o'clock hour. 10 o'clock. Uh, the channel's still live. Sam and the gang are, uh, you know, continuing, and they'll have audio from the pizza party. Mm -hmm. That I guess was a huge success. But yes. Uh, unfortunately, this earthquake kind of fucked up our show today. So oh, we didn't get to everything we I wanted know. to. Isn't that a shame? So, <laughs> so stick around for that. Right, and then, of everyone. course, Ron and Fez at eleven. Right. Have a good weekend. This is the Opie and Anthony Show. The Opie and Anthony Show. Anthony Show. The virus. Sirius XM.